soldier shoot out of line from nowhere? He just stuck to the opposite roof. He swung across to the cold store on it. That wasn't a line. That was a spider's web. He's using the roof exit to get into the building. Oh. We have to get better at landings. Now, where are the... Whoa! I have to get bulletproof, too, if I'm not careful. But how can he see me in this gloom? Answer. He can't. But he knows he's not alone. And he's scared. Good. Who's there? Come on in. You're a dead cop. I'm not a cop. Huh? And you're a murderer. Where the hell are you? Scared of spiders, you worthless dreck. I'm standing right in front of you. Huh? On the ceiling? Who? Your worst nightmare. Oh. Oh. You thought you could shoot down a defenseless old man, huh? You had the power of life and death over two elderly people. And they never did you no harm. And you're gonna pay for what you did. Get away from that man. He's under arrest. I'll see you in hell. Jackson's been beaten senseless. Damn it. You see who that was? Spider-Man. And if we hadn't interrupted just now, I think he'd be the one wanted for murder. Beside cold store. But with injuries he sustained in the arrest alleged to have been caused by the TV performer Spider Man, questions are being asked about the tolerant attitude of the New York City authorities to costume law enforcers. Back to Wall Street now and a look. <sighs> costume law enforcers. That's us he's talking about, Reed. Yeah. <sighs> the Fantastic Four. Depends on if you call those oversized boxer shorts you wear a costume thing. Hey, Why hey. don't you stick your asbestos rompers where the sun don't shine, oh, Sparky? Yeah. If we could stop squabbling and look at the facts, we might get somewhere. This spider character. Now, what do we know about him? He's strong. Stronger than he should be. Yeah. Given it don't look like he works out too much. And this webbing he can shoot. He can form lengths of rope with it, spray it into fine netting, make a strong glue. <laughs> Clever kid. If he formulated that stuff himself. And track down that murder murderer when we lost the trail. I'd like to take another look at this Spider-Man. I think we underestimated it. Hey, we'll switch on the TV. His show starts right now. Wrong again, hothead. What? His show got dropped right after this morning's editorial in the Daily Bugle. Looks like old man Jameson's got a king-size bee in his bonnet about our web-slinging boy. Oh, I see what you mean, Thing. The editorial covers a whole page. This menace must be stopped. By J. Jonah Jameson. He didn't weep, kid. Huh? This menace must be stopped. <laughs> They're putting out cartoon reruns in your place. I don't believe it. How could they cancel the show because some newspaper guy has a beef yeah. about me? J. Jonah Jameson just ain't a newspaper man. He pulls strings. And yours just got snipped. But, but I, I have to earn a living. You don't understand. Sorry, Spidey. I gotta pay you off. Your uh, box office poison. Pay me off? Yeah, hey, life's tough. Get a helmet. Come to think of it, you got one. Well, a mask, anyway. So at least tell me who you really are so I can write the check. Check? What, no cash? I, I can't tell you my real name. Okay, pay Spider-Man some of... Uh, uh, there you go. Oh, boy, the IRS will love my tax return. Not. You mean this is it? Uh, where you been? Ever heard of the recession? Uh, but this won't buy me a subway ride home. Hey, that's show business, Spider-Man. Uh, gotta blow this popsicle stand. Good luck in the real world, kid. Young man. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Mrs. Nussbaum. How did you know my name? Uh, uh, it's right there on your checkbook. You are very nosy, and you uh, always wear your pajamas to the bank. And, well, and why have you got that stupid mask on? Huh? Um, uh, excuse me. Um, hi. Uh, can I cast a check, please? Oh, kids today. How's May Baron up, Sally? Ben's death was such a blow. Is she making ends meet with that young Peter at school? Uh, it's impossible oh. for her. She's not able oh. to go out to work. Young man. It's just so young man. Uh, oh, oh yes. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, can I cash this check? I can't cash this unless you have an account here. An account? No. Oh, okay. Can I open one? You may. Name? Spider-Man with a hyphen. Uh, I'll have to see some identification. Uh, uh, well, what about my costume? You have a social security card or a driver's license in the name of a Spider-Man? Well, no, but, but it is me. Uh, sorry, son. You'll need some sort of ID. What do you want me to do? Walk on the ceiling for you? Next! Excuse me, young man. Young lady. Mm -hmm. There's enough money here to cover Aunt May's rent this week, bank. but the check is made out to someone who doesn't officially exist. What am I going to do? Uncle Ben's gone, and nobody will take me seriously. Dr. Ben, 
Hey, Johnson, knock it off, time. Good. I'd rather pull traffic duty than sit outside a hospital room all day. Yeah, what's wrong? Lots of pretty nurses to look at, right? Not in the secure ward, pal. There's seven-foot gorillas with black belts in kickboxing. <laughs> just to subdue the, you know, the more violent cases. Yeah, what makes him think that this guy octopus is a threat anyway? I thought he was a scientist. He was, till he took a bath in chemical isotopes. Ooh. Then he went crazy. Dr. Octopus. Almost figures. Then he's in there. He ain't alone. The psychiatrist is talking. Uh, Keep an ear on the door. All right. Uh, Dr. Otto Octavius, senior physicist at Bellevue Atomic Research Center, New York State. Date of birth? Dr. Octopus, and I want these restraints taken off my arms. Those those prosthetic lamps? You, you, you've never removed them? I developed this suit so that I could handle volatile substances without danger to myself. <laughs> well, you still landed in hospital. Ah, oh, the accident was caused by a faulty containment seal. I am fully recovered, and I want to go back to work. Uh, I, I'm afraid that won't be possible. You're responsible for gravely injuring somebody who's trying to help you. Oh. Exposure to the chemicals turned you berserk. <laughs> we, we can't be sure you're fully recovered. Oh, at least loosen these restraints. These metal arms, so heavy. I want to remove them. I, I, I'm sorry. The doctor said you've been wearing them so long, they were virtually grafted on, and they make you so strong. Please, I want to take them off. Without them, I could never have hurt that poor man. Please help me prove how sorry I am to remove the temptation, trash the accursed things. Well, well you must swear. I vow, I promise. There, uh, I've undone the restraints. I promise no man will ever hold me down again! Daily Bugle, ladies and gentlemen! Daily Bugle, ladies and gentlemen! Spider-Man Menace by J. Jonah Jameson! I've had it with this Jameson guy writing this crud about me. I'll have to try and figure a way to earn a living later. If only for Uncle Ben's sake, I'm going to prove I'm no menace. And the best way to do that... Doctor Octopus in High-Rise Hospital! Wow. This time is rumored to be injured! Wait a second! <laughs> You're going to a costume party or what? Uh, can I take a look at that paper? Uh, sure! Huh? Famed recluse Dr. Octopus, prosthetic arm genius, no known photos, hospitalized in 50th floor room. No known photos. Yeah, my buddy works for Jameson. Says the old man will pay top dollar for a photo of Dr. Ock. Uh -huh. regular guys can't get a bead on the freak. Hey, maybe you want to pay for that. Put some money in my hand. <laughs> Pal, if I could put money in your hand, I wouldn't be reading your paper. Uh -huh. I gotta go. Hey, thanks for nothing. No known photo of Dr. Octopus in a hospital room too high up for the regular paparazzi to peek in on. Yeah, this may be where Spider-Man's career begins to pay off. And J. Jonah Jameson can foot the bill. Professor Smith to room 5074, please. Professor Smith to room 5074. Please, hurry, Professor. Please, hurry. What the hell is going on in my hospital? And where is everybody? 5072, 5073, 507. Ah! Professor Smith, I hope you brought your bedside. No wonder J. Jonah Jameson will pay to get a photo of Dr. Octopus for the Daily Bugle front page. Only a Spider Man could scale this hospital building to peek in on the good doctor. And with Uncle Ben's old camera, I might be able to pay off Aunt May's bills and have some money left over to live on. And nearly at the window. Whoa, that came from right overhead. Better peek carefully now so that... Oh, wow. What the hell's going on? What have you done with all my stuff? <laughs> I'll tell you what is going to happen, Schmidt. As you can see, these prosthetic arms I developed for my work with volatile chemicals make concealment, privacy, difficult for me. I need a base of operations. This hospital will do for now. Its resources will come in useful. Uh, Dr. Octopus, we only want to help you. Uh, uh, the accident with those chemicals, it's changed your behavior pattern. Ah! 
I have not changed. The birds have turned against me. I am a laughing stock, and I will have the last laugh. Otto Octavius will rule this city. Oh, well, the good doc has flipped his lid. I think we're going to see some action on tomorrow's front page. You are my subject. You will serve me. Mind if I join the party? Well, I sure ain't the Easter Bunny. Is that the one from TV? You're a very foolish young man. Well, we all do wild and crazy things from time to time, Doc. Well, look at you. I'm just a regular six-armed scientific genius type of guy who's accidentally showered with radioactive goo instead of regular soap. You, you dare insult me? I certainly do. And while we're at it, say cheese. Cheese? Just a snap for the folks at home. I'm lighting have been in the group, but what the heck? Oh, and there's one more thing. Huh? This. Now, let's get you two folks untied and call a cop. Spider-Man, wait! He's stronger than you think! You will pay for your insults to death, Captain Come on, pal! This piece of bathos ain't gonna hold me! Go! Ah! What is this stuff? Can't go with a spider and he's gonna shoot some web at you, pal! Professor Smith, get yourself with the nurse out of here! I'll hold him off as long as I can. Thanks, Spider-Man. Come on, kill him. I want you to believe me. What? Yeah! Wary, ingenious compound, your web. But it cannot hold Dr. Octopus. Stand my whip. I didn't think that was possible. Done! My time is too valuable to waste on you. I have work to do. Work that was interrupted by my accident. So now I will bid you farewell. The way you entered, Spider-Man. Through the window! No way! Wait a minute. I'm Spider-Man! Ah, great. A tree. Ow! 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 I guess the hostages got out okay, but... Oh, there goes Dr. Octopus! God damn it! He beat me! He could have finished me off any time he wanted to. Oh boy, what a dummy I was thinking I could do this superhero stuff. Maybe these spider powers just aren't enough to make the grade. But somebody's gotta stop this creep! Front security desk to research lab two. Research lab two. Joe, you got some equipment still switched on down there? I got an energy blip just now, like someone was resetting the reactor shielding controls. There doesn't seem to be a problem. You want to double check? Why would that intruder alarm setting yourself up earlier? We ought to be I sure. said there doesn't seem to be a problem. Everything is fine down here. Okay, okay, Joe, just keep the place secure. Certainly. Certainly, I will. <sighs> After all, I designed the security systems myself, and I know that no one will disturb Dr. Octopus because the reactor room is sealed off, and I am about to demonstrate my power to the world! A photograph of Dr. Octopus? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding? No, Mr. Jameson. Uh, your assistant... Uh, Miss Brandt. Yes, yes. She said she'd get it developed straight away. You can see for yourself. Why did you say your name was again, kid? Uh, Peter Parker, Mr. Jameson. Oh. He's right, Mr. Jameson. Look. Hi, Jiminy. You were telling the truth, boy. How did you get this shot? Looks like that six-armed maniac posed for you. Uh, if I can get you more shots of people like him, will you pay for them? If they're up to the standard, why not? Then you don't ask me how I got them. Is it a deal? Mm, ah, damn it, why not? Just don't bring me pictures of that Spider-Man. I'm gonna have that charlatan run out of town on the rail! I, I don't get it, Mr. Jameson. What have you got against him? Listen, Parker. He's a publicity-seeking vaudeville act. He's out for number one. He wants to cash in on his notoriety. He's bad news. A bad influence. Well, maybe he made a mistake once. He, he could be trying to make himself useful. Miss Pratt? Yes, sir? Give this young man his money. Good evening, Mr. Parker. Wow, what did I say? Spider-Man's kind of Mr. Jameson's Betty Noir. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, I figured. Uh, uh, what do you think of Spider-Man, Miss Brown? Oh, call me Betty, as in Noir. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and I think he's kind of cute. <laughs> uh, really? Um, I thought you preferred cash. For the photo of Dr. Octopus? 
Wow! Looks like you hit the jackpot, Peter. Yeah! Especially with the story breaking about Dr. Octopus is locking himself inside the reactor room at the Atomic Research Center. What? Just came in on the wire. The Fantastic Four out of town in a case, too. Looks like the police are gonna have to stop him without special help. Uh, uh, uh Betty, I, I, I just realized at the time. I'll be late for science class. Sure, maybe see you. Oh, again soon? I don't know, maybe it's my perfume. All right, clear this area. Let's get moving, folks. You too, son. Come oh, on. No, 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 Sergeant. Come on. I'm, not, I, I'm a photographer. Uh, can I get closer to the plant? Nobody can, son. This octopus guy's got the reactor's automatic defense system rigged and ready to go. Yeah. Movement detectors, thermal images, get within 100 meters of the building, and the lasers will zap you. Now move back. Come on, come on. Come on, people. Let's shake a leg here. Come on. First things first. Let's strip down to the Spider-Man outfit. Mask on. Good. Web shooters. Okay, fluid reservoir's full. So, nobody can approach the building on foot, huh? Well, all I need is a spot away from the cops, a couple of trees not more than ten feet apart. And these saplings are perfect. I spring a mesh of web line back and forth, I create a kind of hammock. And... Reversing into it with every ounce of my spider strength. Try to calculate my trajectory to the roof. So tight up my neck. And like a slingshot, let go. Oh. Oh, jeez. Now I know how a frisbee feels. Never mind. I'm on the atomic plant. The rooftop defense system seems to be on the fritz. Too soon. Oh, the door down to the interior is covered by a movement detector. I gotta find a way past it to where Dr. Octopus is. Oh, and there are 20 lasers swinging around to zap chunks out of me. Oh, no. Wait a second. If I wind the web fluid nozzle aperture and aim it at the motion sensor lenses. Bingo! <laughs> it can't zap what it can't see. Now to find the good doctor. Only a matter of minutes now, and the fools who think themselves safe beyond the reactor's defenses will become the subjects of my greatest demonstration yet. Intruder! No, oh, not possible. Visual monitoring? Main lobby. Empty. Office block. Empty. Rooftop. Camera malfunction. Science labs. Huh? Hiya, Doc. Spider-Man? Yeah, I thought I'd drop in, you know, shoot the breeze, reminisce, put you in jail. No, no, you'll do no such thing. Activate internal defenses. Hey, cut that out! Goodbye, Spider-Man. You'll find the ball-mounted laser weapons inside the building are set to kill. That's your last mistake, Doctor. Ow! Darn it! Oh, another three minutes and the stuff I was cooking up in this lab would have been ready. Oh, jeez. I'll have to improvise the last part of my little surprise for Doc Ock. This dude's all filled with the compound. Yeah. All I need is like a wire or something. Yeah, this power cable will do. What do you know? That was the laser's power supply. <laughs> all right. Now here's it. No, oh, what the heck? This is Dr. Octopus addressing the commanding officer of the police and national guard units outside the Bellevue Atomic Research Center. <laughs> The conditions will be made immediately are as follows. One, the complete surrender of all your forces without question. Two, the entire Federal Gold Reserve and Fort Knox to be transferred to my Swiss account. Three, my inauguration as President of the United States this Saturday at 3 p.m. Completely flipped. But you have exactly five minutes to agree these terms before I release a radioactive cloud over the city of New York. Oh, he must be bluffing. I am not bluffing. What? I am switching the plant's radiation to summer to this channel. Five minutes. 295 seconds to atmospheric pressure release and counting. You will send to the bill of Dr. Octopus, or I will turn New York into a radio. I will not be ignored! I shall rule you all! I shall... But! Thank 
package for Dr. Octopus. Spider-Man? Sorry, the kiss gram girl couldn't make it. I shall tear you limb from limb. Whoa, <laughs> I just love the way your prosthetic arms uncoil like that. I feel that embrace. Ha! Whoa. Gotta find a way past these arms if I'm gonna deck this idiot. Let's hope my little surprise present works. Hey, Doc, I was gonna gift wrap these little test tubes, but I couldn't wait to see your face when I gave them to you. Here, cats! <laughs> Foolishness! Oh, that's only part one of the show. Now they've wrapped themselves around your extra arms. I press this detonator and. So, a chemical which fuses matter. I will tear it. I will. Works better in handcuffs, wouldn't you say? I am not defeated! Oh! Wow, he can still pack a punch. Can he really beat this guy? Core pressure building. 35 seconds for atmospheric pressure release and count. Oh, you are too late to save your city. Millions will perish. Oh, that does it. Time to clean your clock, pal. Uh, the spider's web. My glasses I cannot see. Yo! It's caught me in the coil of his free arm. Cross uh, uh, Gotta try and push the coil apart. Uh, Soon your strength will fail. You will be unable to save yourself. Ah, I've got one chance, but I gotta take it now. Ah! Oh no, he's staggering backwards toward the control panel. Carry me with him. We're gonna collide with him. Ah! Core pressure building. What? Ten seconds to atmospheric pressure release and counting. Seven. Oh no! Six, Doc Ock's so cold! Four, no time to think! Three! Oh, just hit the nearest two, switch! One! Oh god, I blew it. Core pressure equalized. Release valve deactivated. I did it! I did it! I saved New York! I'm a superhero, damn it! Look out, world! Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man! Uh, and that goes for you too! Ooh. Ha! Reed, the intruder alarm's tripped in the ready room. It's tripped here in the lab as well, Sue. We're Johnny and the Thing. Night with you, Mr. Fantastic. That surveillance unit must be on the fritz again. What makes you say that? Well, because nobody can get up to the Fantastic Four building without using a special elevator. And it's still at ground level. More than one way to skin a cat, kid. Look out the window. Great, Scott! Greetings, group. Shame you couldn't leave a window open for me. Spider-Man, we finally meet. Nice high wire act, if you like circus tricks. <sighs> Just shoot a length of uh, web between two buildings and walk across. You certainly have special skills. Ah. <laughs> Another teenage cornball show off, just like the torch. Hey, 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 you wanna bust in the snoop, pal? Johnny, the cage, please. You got it. Cage? I don't see any cage. <laughs> you were saying, pal. I said, don't mess with a guy who has a proportional strength of a... Yeah! Spider! You big ape! That device cost us thousands, and he wrecked it! Oh. Don't worry, rubber face. This squirt's gonna be taught some matters right now. Go no! Uh, no sweat. Come here, you big lug. Whoa. Uh. Oh no! A dead thing! You don't wanna do that, Spidey. It'll only make him mad. This that's what comes to pull him a punch on account of his size. I'll oh. take a hand in this! Oh, come on, Mr. Fantastic. Pulling yeah. those rubber arms of yours around me isn't gonna work. I did this trick with Dr. Octopus last week and he had two extra pairs. <laughs> My arm's trapped in this sticky netting. That's enough, pal. Flame on. Gotta catch me first, Torch. <laughs> Over here. <sighs> Why, you... Woo! Miss me. What? Come on, Fireball, get the rocks out of your pants! Gotcha! No, no you didn't! Hey! Uh, I did. Uh, what the? Who's gotten a hold of me? I'm Sue Storm, the invisible girl, Spider-Man. And that's enough fun and games. Somebody might get hurt. Uh, okay, okay. Blame off! Out of the way, Sue. Let me take another whack at him. All right, all right. Now, suppose you tell us what you're here for, Spider-Man. <laughs> it's about time somebody asked me. 
Don't tell us you just came over here to borrow a cup of sugar. Nope. I came here to join up with you. What? Yeah. I want to be a member of the Fantastic Four. How much does this job pay? Pay? Uh, hey. I figure my skills make me worth your top salary. Huh. I knew it. That cook's got rocks in his head. You made a mistake, Spider-Man. We're a non-profit organization. What? Everything we make above expenses goes into scientific and criminological research. You came to the wrong place, buddy boy. This ain't General Motors. Anyway, pal, according to the newspapers, you should be under lock and key. Yeah. I might have known. You're just like the rest. All you want to do is to believe the worst of anyone. No, wait! Oh, get hey, get me out of your group! I'll make you guys look like garbage men! Hmm. Somehow I think we'll be hearing more from that young man. Maybe we could have helped him. Ah, we got enough problem kids around here as it is. Oh, give it a rest thing. It takes some kid to knock you on your can. Hey, I don't know. He seemed sad to me. There's a nice boy under that mask. Cut it out, Sue. I just ate. Could have cast it. According to the newspapers, you should be under lock and key. Huh. Peter Parker may need J. Jonah Jameson's help to pay the bills. Spider-Man could well do without him. Miss Brandt. Miss Brandt! Hey, yes, Mr. Jameson. Sorry. You left the door to my office open. Oh, well, sir, I'm sorry. I was just... And open a window, will you? Place it like an oven. Yes, sir. Oh, the catcher is stiff. Which idiot wrote today's editor? Oh. I have blue eyes. Oh. But you need help with the window catch. Jump on Jehoshaphat! Spider-Man! <laughs> you were expecting Tom Cruise? <laughs> Miss Brandt, call security! Now yeah, relax, Miss Brandt. This is just a passing visit. I just dropped by to deliver Mr. Jameson a warning. You! You dare to warn me! That's right, Chuckles. You've waged a one-man war against me in your publications. Even when I saved your stupid butt and the rest of New York by defeating Dr. Octopus, you made it sound like I was the maniac let loose in the atomic plant. I am not a criminal. I'm fighting crime. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So why do you wear that dopey mask, then? Because you have bad breath, James. Uh, uh, get down off the ceiling, blasted! Uh, thought you'd never ask. Lay off, Jameson, or I'll lose my sense of humor. Ha! The rest of this town might think you're some kind of swinging superhero, but J. Jonah Jameson is wise to you. I'm going to expose you. For the menace you are, I'm going to make you sorry you ever pulled on that stupid jumpsuit in the first place. Your butt will be on my wall. You'll wish you never heard of me by the time I finish with you. Are you trying to tell me something? No! <laughs> you shouldn't yell like that, J.J. It makes you dribble. <laughs> Break a leg, you bum! Oh, come and what are you staring at? No, uh, nothing, Mr. Jameson. Spider-Man. Ha! I'll squash him. I'll squash him flat! J. Jonah Jameson. On the one hand, I need him. Because as Peter Parker, I can sell him exclusive photos of Spider-Man in action. And on the other, he uses the pictures to brand me a menace to society. The police cars. This is usually a quiet neighborhood. Let's see if the radio receiver in my new Spidey belt is picking anything up. Suspect on foot, wearing green sweater, brown cord pants, seen moving in general direction of Forest Hills. Ha! Ah, wait a second! Got a confirmation. We're pretty sure it's the Sandman. Keep this frequency clear for updates. The Sandman? Are they kidding? I heard this guy's wanted from Maine to Mexico. Ah, oh, maybe this is where Spider-Man earns a few credits. Wait a second. On that other roof opposite. The big guy trying to force that door and his clothes matched the description. Hmm? Now what? Now what? You're wasting my time, Shorty. Now get lost. I got a couple of banks to rob, and I don't aim to work overtime. Uh, oh, hold it, Grissom. Nobody gives Spider-Man a bum's rush. You'll get worse than that if you don't let go. Yeah. Oh, where do you get off on announcing you're gonna rob some banks? Don't you think you could employ a little subtlety? I can arrange for you a great little job, breaking rocks at the penitentiary. I'm the Sandman squirt. You better get your arms from around me or else. Oh, or else what? Or else this. What? Wait a second. I don't believe it. He's crumbling into soft sand, slipping through my fingers. What, what gives? That's impossible. The guy's rebuilding himself in front of my eyes. It has to be a trick like in the movies. No trick, pal. Now you see why they call me the Sandman. Oh, yeah? Well, let's see how you take a punch, huh? My fist. I went right through your stomach. Ain't no hard feelings. Try giving me a crack on the chin before I pummel you. Here goes nothing. Ow! My fist!
fast. I came in concrete. Oh, the little boy hit his Jeez. little hand on the Sandman. Nasty Sandman. Yeah, I'm gonna stop you, pal. There'll be a way. Well, you figure one out, kid. Cops all over the city ain't managed it. Here's a good trick. I reshape my arm uh, into a solid block of sand oh, and make you a present of it. Uh, oh. Now I got business to attend to, kid. At ground level. At the arm. Incredible. Get down from this rooftop, he's just dissolving into the wind. I guess he'll rebuild himself at street level. This guy's body is as versatile as Mr. Fantastic. Except he's not on the side of the good guys. Uh, gotta stop him, but I'm caught on this piece of wire. Oh no! My mask ripped right open! I, just, I can't follow! If anybody gets a good look at my face, the whole world will know Peter Parker is Spider-Man! Who is the Sandman? A few months ago, he was an inmate at Rikers Island Jail, known as Flint Marco. An incorrigible escaper, Marco found an unguarded drainage culvert under the jail's generator room. But what he didn't know was that chemical pollutants from the river had concentrated there. Oh, oh, Peter, the is that you? I didn't hear the front door. Hi, oh. uh, Aunt May. Uh, 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 yeah, I, I thought you were asleep. Why, Peter, you gave me such a start. Peter, why are you clutching your bathrobe around you so tightly? You look pale. My, don't tell me you have a fever. What? Uh, yeah. <coughs> uh, yeah, that's it, Aunt May. Oh, dearie me. Now you just hop right into that bed of yours. I'll fetch a glass of hot milk and some aspirin for you. Oh, goodness, look at you now. You're burning off. Hardly surprising. With this spidey outfit on under a heavy bathrobe, guess I'll have to follow doctor's orders and hit the sack. But later, I'll need some time alone with Aunt May's sewing box. I've got to repair my mask real fast if I'm going to stop Sandman without revealing my identity. Ah, Miss Brett! Oh, uh, Mr. Jameson? Did you leave something on my office chair this morning? Uh, excuse me? Just take a look at these, my best pants. Oh, that is really your color. What is it? Your shorts. I like that cute little poodle pattern. Oh, you have damn it! it. <laughs> Somebody put crazy glue on my chair. Ripped a hole in my pants. Um, glue? Well, it's funny. It looks more like... Well, uh... Spider's web? That's it! That's it! The dead blasted Spider-Man left it there deliberately. Not a strip. Oh, God, I left a little Spidey calling card for old JJ before my brush was Sandman last night. And now I need a big favor. Peter Parker, what are you doing here? Haven't you got school today? Uh, yeah, yeah, but I wondered if I could have a quick word with Mr. Jameson. I don't think it's uh, a good time right Got any photos for me? I want exclusive shots of this Sandman character. Uh, well, that's why I'm here, um, to ask for an advance on my next batch. An advance? Are you kidding? I run a business here, not a charity. When you bring me some exclusive pictures, I'll pay for them. But not before. Uh, yeah, but, Miss Brad! Uh, yes, sir? Find me a fresh pair of pants. With poodles, sir? Uh, oh, yes, sir. Go right away, sir. Parker! Uh, uh, yes? Go get some pictures. You teenagers are all the same. You think the world owes you a... Sheesh. That money would have bought the chemicals I need for the new web fluid, which just might have worked against the Sandman. Now I'm back where I was before, and while I'm stuck in class at Midtown High, that freak is still on the rampage. <clears throat> this copy gets worse every time. All units in Midtown stand alert for robbery suspect the Sandman reported in your area. Green sweatshirt, brown coat, pants. Approaches extreme caution. This man is dangerous. Over. Wait a second, Murray. Did you see that guy back there near the high school? Green sweatshirt, brown pants. You think, uh... I don't know. Let's take a look. <laughs> ah! The coffee's hot, man. Oh, it's all over my pants. Ugh. <laughs> well? No sign of him. All right, students, if we could switch off the Bunsen's and place the retorts back in their stands, we'll pick up on the next stage of the reaction in Friday's lesson. Okay, Mr. Okay. I thought class would never end today. If I never see another test tube again, it'll be too soon. Flash, you'll break Peter's heart. You know he can't bear to be parted from them. <laughs> oh, darn it. I can't get this stupid cork out of this flask. Uh, Peter, what? could you try it? Oh, sure, Liz. <laughs> here, book arm, I'll do it. I can do it, Flash. Come here. Oh, here you go, Liz. Oh, and because you're new here, you ain't learned at all Peter Park is good for his reading science formulas. Flash. If you want a job done by a real man, you call me. Uh, I think I can make up my own mind on that score, Flash. Now, students, hurry up, please. Principal Edwards wants to have a few words with you about the scholarship exams before you break for lunch. Boy, is Flash a jerk. I was holding back on that cork. 
But the more I give the impression Peter Parker's nerd of the 90s, the less chance anyone will link me to Spider-Man. Peter? Mm hmm? You okay? Uh, uh, yeah, sure, Liz. <laughs> of course, the downside is I look like a total wimp in front of Liz Allen, the nicest new arrival this class has ever had. So, uh, Liz, uh, how about linking up for a date tonight? Could take on a new store? Darn it. Flash makes the first move, as always. Uh, I don't know, Flash. My folks aren't too keen on my going out in the evening right now. Not with this Sandman character running loose. Sandman? <laughs> Spidey will take care of him. Spidey? Spider-Man. He's cool. I really dig that web-slinging dude. What? Flash is a fan of Spider-Man? The guy who treats Peter Parker like he found me floating in his soup? You're a fan of Spider-Man? Oh, I think he's so, um, excellent. Oh, no. I'm out of my league here, and I thought I had problems with the Sandman. Quiet now, class. Principal Edwards has a few words for us. <clears throat> now, class, we are considering extending the scholarship examinations to Empire State University in order to cover two new categories. <laughs> All right, nobody move and nobody gets hurt. What the? Who are you? I'm the Sandman. Shut And these kids are my hostages. Oh, my God. Peter, is that really the Sandman? Peter, where'd he go? To be continued. Oh. Yes, this is Warden Quinn. The whole of E-Wing is on fire. No, how the heck should I know how they broke out? All I know is half the penitentiary is loose, and I need... Mr. Warden! Yeah. Give me that phone! Okay, shut up! Quiet! Quiet! Shut up! Yeah, you listen up! We got the warden! We got the entire stinking jail! Yeah! Yeah! Uh, demands? Uh, what demands? Hey, this guy in the other end says, what demands have we got? We want out of here, Rocco! Yeah, right! You still there? We want out of here! Yeah. Transportation to the airport! A transportation to the airport! And, and, and a helicopter on standby! A helicopter? We just sprang 300 guys out of the joint! Uh, make that a jumbo jet! Hello! Hello! Rocco! You in there! Like this? Rocco! The jail is surrounded! It's the Release the warden! You will have to come and get it! Peter? Peter, it's dinner time. You're studying so hard. Come and join your Uncle Ben and me for supper. Uh, no, Emmy, I, I'm not hungry. Uh, ow! Well, I brought you a little something on a tray. No way! Please, please! <gasps> Situation breaks. I don't like it, Captain. Warden's office is in the new armor block. We can't make a surprise move against these guys without risking his life. Uh, special weapons and tactics? Riot squad? We just don't have a team trying to deal with a prison riot on this scale. What the? Begging your pardon, gentlemen, I do. Where's the rest of you? It's Mr. Fantastic. His body stretches like rubber. Look, his neck snakes back to where he's standing behind the crowd. So, will you let me through? We can help. Fantastic Four. Hey, I read about you guys in the Daily Bugle. The Invisible Girl. The Human Torch and, uh... Look out! It's the thing! <laughs> Have to death. Sorry, Uncle Ben. Well, how on earth did you get yourself up on the ceiling like that, boy? Like some kind of uh, insect. Uh, arachnid. What? Uh, uh, oh, I, I was experimenting with these uh, chemicals. I came up with a real strong glue. It, it was a gag. I, I'm sorry. Hey, it's okay. But take a break from your studying, Peter. You need to relax a little. Say, you ought to see the news story on TV. There's been a big prison breakout. Huh? The warden's been taken hostage. And the Fantastic Four have offered to help. So that's where they are. I'm not sure I hold with these long underwear characters. And that thing, it's not natural. Not natural at all. Not natural? Wait till the world finds out what a freak I am. Hey, Copper! The warden's dead in five minutes if we ain't out of here! Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, people, plan A. Johnny goes for the warden as agreed. You got it, Mr. Fantastic. Sue, your invisibility should get you past the lookouts in the security control room. Stand by to reactivate the cell locks on my mark. Right. Thing, you wait here in reserve till I give the word. Any questions? Reserve. I gotta sit out here like a roadie at a rock concert while this squirt struts his stuff. What am I, the sugar plum fairy? The sugar plum fairy doesn't look like a walking pile of fossilized cookies wearing a diaper. You keep flapping your lips, kid, and you'll find this fossilized cookie's fist down your throat. Come on, boys. You agreed not to squabble in public. Sorry, sis. Better shake up those molecules and get started. Okay, I'm turning invisible. That's it. Ready to move out. See you inside. We may not see you, but we'll certainly be there. Johnny, you got it, Reed. Blame on. Temperature which will melt hardened concrete. Provided I get my bearings right, I should burrow through to the warden's office before I flame out. Don't waste it! Go, go, go! Here comes the human torch! There goes nothing. Come on, thing with the Fantastic Four. Teamwork is the name of the game. Yeah, that's your definition of teamwork, Reed. You give them the orders, everyone else jumping around like Mexican beans. But I ain't forgotten that I gotta look like a freak show exhibit by following your orders once too often. Thing. So you'll excuse me if I use a little initiative now and again. Ben, this isn't the time. Oh, yes, it is. Clobbering time. Dang way! Thing! No! You ruined the element of surprise! Rocco, look! What? This jailbreak is over. Uh, oh, 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 nothing's over, Warden. Capiche, Lunk, get the fire hose reel unrolled and fast. Yeah, Squeeze it. I'm not the shotgun rack and pass those pieces around. Yeah. You guys, take this deathlight this cable and connect it to the window bars. Fantastic Four, huh? we'll rub them out! My name is Peter Parker. I'm 17 years old and a wimp. Check that. A nerd. Something happened to me a month ago, and I still don't understand what exactly it means. Uh, I mean, there are plenty of things I don't understand, like why I lost my parents, or why Aunt May always thinks I look good in short sleeve sweaters, or, or why I always get a zit the size of Mount Etna just when I want to impress a girl. Not that the girls in school take any notice anyhow. Hey, sissy! Is it true you're taking Peter Parker to the dance next Tuesday? You can knock it off, Flash. What's wrong, Petey? Don't you want to come to the dance with me? Uh, uh sissy, um, uh, 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 my, my chemistry exam's the next day. Uh, I don't think I can make it. <laughs> That's good, because I'm going with Flash Thompson, ain't I, Flash? Uh, you know, Parker, it's a sad and diamond in your complete inability to interact socially with members of the opposite sex that you can't even get a date with Sissy Bendix. Uh -huh. She'd kiss a janitor's dog for a free soda. Oh, flash Ah, loosen up. Parker, get a life, you bookworm. And for crying out loud, do something about that zit. <laughs> that was a month ago. I thought I was miserable then. But at least I was normal. I hadn't become a freak. At least I had some kind of a future. Hey, Rocco, what? You hearing this? Yeah. Did you feel the floor shaking? Yeah. And now we're gonna snuff you permanently! Yeah. What the? Not so fast, Rocco! Not while I can stretch in through these bars and take that gun from you! It's Mr. Fantastic! Quick, Lug! Switch on the power! Yeah! We shoot up the window bars with mains power stretch! For a rubber man, you sure conduct electricity like a human being! Okay! But, but that's only two of them! What about the thing and the invisible girl? Oh, yeah. Just secure the fizzle locking, Sister Rocco, and the thing is rounded up the other escape. Run, sister! We still got the warden! <sighs> what you got, pal, is trouble. <laughs> Come here, you're next. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Johnny, do it. I got no one left to hit! Wait a minute. <laughs> Who says I clobbered earlier? Flame out! Finn, you idiot! You punched out Warden Quinn! Ugh. Oops. 
It was never easy being Peter Parker. Teenager, bookworm, creep. I had no date for the school dance, but then again, I had the zit from hell on my nose, and tomorrow was my scholarship exam. Science was my major, but Aunt May and Uncle Ben sure didn't have the money to put me through college. While my classmates partied the night away, I prepared my lab equipment for the examiner. Okay. Radioactivity tolerances and crystalline compounds. Enter. I'd secured a tiny sample of radioactive isotope from the City University labs. It was too small to be harmful to humans. Fractal analysis of compound at this tolerance equals... Um, equals 0.00038 quantization. What the? Foreign body alert? Oh, no. This can't be happening. Uh, maybe it's a piece of fluff in the isotope casing. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know it's radioactive. About as radioactive as a firefly's butt. Yeah, just hook out whatever piece of crud has fallen in here. What? God, did that thing move? Ow! It, it, it bit me! What the, what the heck was that? Wow, a spider. But I've never seen one glow in the dark before. Ugh. Too bad I stepped on it. sort of crank call. That sounds like one scared kid to me, Sue. Mm. Someone who needs help. Come on, sis. He sounds deranged. Kind of like the thing on a good day. Button your lip, matchhead. Yeah? You're lucky I bought you time to dry out of the prison tonight. Just a minute, thing. You took off on your own after those escaped convicts and tipped off the ringleaders. We were there. Bah, while you was beating your gums, I rounded up most of E-Wing. But did you have to put the warden in hospital as well? Just because you look like a monster doesn't mean you have to behave like one. Maybe I do look like a monster. Maybe I feel like one sometimes. It ain't funny trying to fit in when you've been turned into a freak. Yeah, I'm sure. Ask that kid who left the phone message. Something's happened to him the way that something once happened to us. Yeah. And in the end, each of us has to face it alone, being different. I've been bit by things before. Mosquitoes, dogs, Sissy Bendix in the first grade. But the bite from that glowing spider had me throwing fit all over the lab. At the time, I thought it had to be lethal. It hurt so much. Then I realized I wasn't going to die. I'd just scream a lot. I picked myself up. I felt weird. It was like waking after a fever, every sense sharpened, the most ordinary things endowed with a new significance. I was charged up, reborn. Holy cow. What a mess. I tidied the lab as best I could, but as I heaved to straighten the heavy bench I'd been working on... What? Unbelievable! The bench is light as a feather! Huh? The, the bench is heavy enough, but... I can move it with one finger. It's almost as if... Uh, oh, God! <laughs> Incredible! Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Somebody's coming. I can't hear anybody. Oh, somebody is outside the door, and they're about to... <laughs> hey, Parker, you creep! Time for your shower! <laughs> so where'd it go? The equipment's still warm. Hey, Parker! You hiding, you little creep? I wasn't hiding, but the instant the door had flown open, some reflex I'd never been aware of before made me leap upward. And against every law of physics, when my hands and feet connected with the ceiling, they stayed put. I was hanging upside down over Flash Thompson's head like a spider crawling across the ceiling. Like a spider. Oh, Pot is gone, Flash. Yeah. Don't you think uh -huh. she's gone? Yeah. 
must have run for it. I'll square him later. Come on, guys, let's oh, yeah. check out the dance. Oh, yeah. See if the music oh, improves. Yeah. Yeah. happened to me. Normal guys don't hang from ceilings. And I knew those people were out there. No, no, I knew they meant me harm. Normal guys don't... Oh, who am I kidding? When was I normal? Before, I was just a nobody. Now I'm a freak. And all because that spider bit me. Oh! I ran home like the hounds of hell were after me. I locked myself in the bathroom. Threw up for the first half hour. It wasn't another side effect of the spider bite, it was shock. And just as I'd washed up, I glanced in the mirror. Jeepers, my zit's gone. It was the first decent break I'd had all day. I went to say goodnight to Aunt May and Uncle Ben. They were watching the late news. Incredible scenes as the Fantastic Four tackled the bank. Peter, is that I'm you? You home, Petey? Glass of hot milk? Oh, uh, no thanks, Uncle Ben. Uh, I guess I'll turn in. Uh, got an exam tomorrow. How about these guys on TV? Ever see a bunch of freaks like that? I'll get you a glass. Freaks. That radioactive spider bite made me a freak, too. A Spider-Man. That's why I put in that call to the Fantastic Four today. I thought maybe I could help others, too. Maybe it would make me feel human again. But then I began to think. No one ever helped me. So why the heck bother? Why not make every cent I could out of being a freak? Why not cash in? My aunt and uncle sure deserved a better life. Heck, if I had to be a Spider-Man, I was strictly in it for the money. All right, you hard guys, you hooligans, you fist-fighting men. Roll up and face the toughest hombre you've ever seen. There's 50 bucks to the man who can last around with this magnificent specimen of humanity. Come on, uh -huh. come on. 50 bucks is 50 bucks. And if I'm going to cash in on the side effects of that radioactive spider venom, this seems as good a chance as any. Who's first in line to take his chances with Crusher Hogan? Hey, mister! Hey, over here! Don't fight that tub of grease! A volunteer! Step up, son! Step up! <laughs> well, if it ain't a little masked marvel. Step up, sucker! You keeping that kerchief around your fears, kid? Sure. I, I mean, uh, uh, a story. Let's get to it, Hogan. All right, seconds out! Round Great. Wow, he looks bigger close up. Ew, that smells pretty awesome, too. But this is where I find out if that spider bite really did give me special powers. Whoa, he'd land that one, I'd be on Mars. Hey, Crusher! Behind you! Back here! Wow, me! Why, you little... Up here! Wait a minute! Oh. Come on, Crusher! You got me on the road! Hey, kid! This ain't a tight rollback! Stop running around the ring! Incredible! I seem to have the proportional strength and agility of a spider. I don't even have to think about balancing. It just comes naturally. Yeah, uh, that does it. You're gonna be real sorry now! What? Hey! I don't believe it! He went the distance! I win! Son of a... <laughs> Holy moly, a knockout! <laughs> yeah. What's your name, kid? Uh, 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 Rock, uh, 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 Rocky, uh, Balboa, Rocky Balboa. Uh, uh, can I have the 50 clams now? Sorry, son, you hit the man after the bell went. You forfeit the win. Oh. Uh, what? Tough luck, son. Rules of the game. Oh, On your feet, Crusher. Oh. You hard guys! Hey, you hoodlums! Oh, you fist fat men! Oh, Roll geez. up! And all that for nothing! Hey, son, son, all over here! Hey, you with the bandana around your face! Wait up! What, are you, are you talking to me? Yeah, listen, kid. That's the greatest act I've ever seen. Running around those ropes like a chimpanzee. I've got to manage you. A manager? Well, what do I need with a manager? Money, boy, money! I can get you on the Tonight Show. Good morning, America. Damn it, Oprah Winfrey will help you expose your abused childhood. Uh, I didn't have an abused childhood. Hey, did your folks ever? To stop you from doing something, huh? Well, uh, Aunt May thought Jurassic Park would give me nightmares. Yeah, well, that's close enough. What's your name, kid? Uh, well, I, I'd rather not say. Fine, fine. We'll make one up. Got any ideas? How about a uh, uh, monkey man? Yeah, you, you'll need a costume of some kind. Could dress you up as a gorilla, huh? Uh, uh, uh spider? The, the spider? Uh, spider man. Yeah, Spider Man. The amazing Spider Man. That's you, kid. Here's my card. Call me tomorrow, son. <laughs> You're gonna be a star. <laughs> Good morning, 
Good morning, team. Morning, morning Mr. Jameson. Jameson. Uh, Mrs. Brand, take a letter. Yes, Mr. Jameson, sir. Uh, Is that you behind the water cooler stand? Uh, uh, morning, JJ. Uh, nice front page on the bugle this morning, didn't you think? Very nice, Stan. Made New York's greatest newspaper look like a comic book. You're fired. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Ready, Miss Brand? Uh, yes, Mr. Jameson. <clears throat> To the owner, Global Broadcasting System. Sir, I had the misfortune yesterday to witness the first in your new daytime TV show, The Amazing Spider-Man, featuring some joker in a red and blue jumpsuit doing acrobatics, walking on ceilings, and balancing tightropes. As a newspaper publisher, move that umbrella, Johnson! Yes, 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 sir. I'm only too well aware of the attraction these circus acts have for the public. I've just fired the Daily Bugle editor for putting a photo of this character on our front page. But as chief stockholder in your news operation, I'm demanding you drop this show immediately and run genuine news stories, or I'll be leading a hostile takeover bid at the next shareholders' meeting. Yours, Jay Jonah. Jameson Publisher Now Magazine. Did you get that, Miss Brown? Shareholders with it, pretty much. I mean, yes, sir. I got it, sir. Good. Oh. Can't imagine what the news business is coming to. William Randolph Hearst would turn in his grave. Uh, who? Get that off straight away, Miss Brown. Yes, sir. Sh sh should I fax it? Don't give me that technological gobbledygook. Mail it and go via the washroom. You're wearing too much lipstick. Uh -huh. Kids these days. Oh, you miserable. You forgot to sharpen my pencils. Docked one hour's pay. Oh. New York's front pages are dominated today by the images of an overnight TV sensation. Calling himself the Amazing Spider-Man, a masked figure garbed in red and blue has seized top position in this week's TV race. Fascinating. With his yeah. Those are no ordinary acrobatic feats. Two rag brother man. Kid's good with his hands, too. Uh, no oh, thing. No. What Reed means is that... Save it, sis. If a word ain't in the funny papers, thing don't understand it. Another crack like that one, hotshot, and you'll be reading them from a hospital bed. Oh, Remember funny. that phone message we got the other week? The kid who was scared he was turning into a spider? Yeah. Wow! I bet that's the same guy. Nice oh. work, Einstein. I had that figure long ago. Oh, yeah, so, sure you did. He seems to have found a way to cope with his condition. By cashing in on it? Mm. How long till he gets a taste for easy money? <gasps> Stolen money. I tell you, team, this is just the sort of guy to turn into a threat to society. You mean the Fantastic Four might end up having to run him in? It could turn into a job for us, yes. Pity we couldn't have talked to him before he chose to take this course. Yeah. Yeah. Reed's got a point. Sooner or later, our paths are gonna cross. Mm -hmm. And it sure ain't gonna result in him and us starting up a debating society. He's incredible. He's unbelievable. He's the ratings head of TV. Watch him. Will you take a look at this guy, man? What are they gonna come up with next? Honey, the red and blue material he's wearing looks like that stretchy stuff I put away in the cellar a year or so back. Don't you think so, Peter? Peter? Oh, now, for heaven's sake, where's the boy gone? Way to work, of course, May. Don't you remember? In the evening, child, we got to save up for college. Means you'll be out most nights, he said. That poor boy. <laughs> Look at this guy walk on the ceiling. <laughs> Ever wished you could do that, lady. <laughs> Let's see you lift this 500-pound weight, wall crawler. Yay! Simple. And now, folks, prepare to be amazed further as the Spider-Man reveals his latest and most unique talent. I've been working on a whole new part of the act. Yes. Even though I'm called Spider-Man, there's one aspect of spider behavior I didn't develop after that radioactive specimen bit me. Until now. These little gadgets took a little time to build, not to mention hours in the chemistry lab. But with one strapped on each arm and the nozzles positioned on the inside of my wrists, I pressed the little release button in each palm and... Folks, the Spider-Man spins his own web. Incredible, but true! The nozzles pump out this sticky liquid, which hardens on contact with the air. By adjusting the flow rate, I'm more agile than ever. How about that? A spider web rope he shoots out and swings on! Or this, a cone of spinning spider's web. See how he catches this heavy medicine ball in its netting. <laughs> and how's this for a sticky situation? One glutinous handful of web fluid sticks the heavy ball to the wall. Ha! Flash Thompson laughed at me for working hard at my studies. Well, only a science major could have created a device like this. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for the amazing Spider-Man! You were incredible! You were a sensation! Hey, did you see the Daily Bugle this morning? You were on the front page! Yeah, we're gonna go places. Hollywood, Europe! What do you say to that? 
Yeah, I agree. We gotta do something about that mask. Uh -huh. Peel it up over your nose a little. It'll still act as a disguise. Oh, phew, I'll, I'll make a better one. Now, when do I get paid? Stop hey, it, man! Well, Somebody stop it! Oh, oh, look at that guy move! Hey! Oh, he's a clean out of the window! <laughs> what the hell kind of a hero are you supposed to be? You could at least have tripped that guy up. He just mugged a bunch of people in their dressing room. Hey, hey, hey listen, pal. I'm not here to do your job for you. I'm through being pushed around by anyone. So if you need help, Grandpa, you call a cop, capiche? Uh, I wouldn't say that was a public relations triumph, kid. Uh, save your breath, Marty. From now on, I look after number one. Huh? Me. Now, what do I have to do to get paid for these TV shows? The story behind TV's newest rating success took a new turn last night at the Global TV Studios. Here's Katie with the story. That's right, Artie. It was in this studio complex that a dramatic confrontation between TV's specialty act, the Spider-Man, and one of the nation's most wanted occurred backstage after the show. Apparently, the web-slinging TV hero refused to attempt to tackle Scar Jackson, who fled into the building, having escaped from an armed escort, transferring him to Rikers Island Penitentiary. Reed Richards, otherwise known as Mr. Fantastic, leader of the Fantastic Four, gave us his views on the incident. Well, I can't speak for my colleagues, but I believe if you're gifted with special powers or abilities, you have a duty to use them to help others. And now, if you'll excuse me. Leading publisher J. Jonah Jameson, however, was more forthright in his views. It's an outrage that these costume mountebanks are permitted to carry on their exhibition and practices in public. This Spider-Man action in the defense of honest citizens is the tip of the iceberg. He is an evil influence on the young. No. J. Jonah jerk. Peter, Peter. Uh, yes, M.A.? Oh, am I allowed in the parlor now? Come on, Pete, it's already. <laughs> Coming, ready or not. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Is that a cake or the USA's entire chocolate output this year? Happy birthday, Peter. Uh -huh. Goodness knows you deserve it. How does it feel to be an old man of 18, son? Oh, well, put it this way, Uncle Ben. I, I've changed a lot in the last few weeks. Your uncle and I saved up for a special present for you. Oh, well, man, you should and you can't afford it. Ah, no, don't you fret. Heck, where am I going to play golf in Brooklyn? Oh, what? You pawned your golf clubs? Oh, open it, Peter. You'll like it. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> oh, wow! A microscope! Yeah, for your studies, you said one would come in handy. <laughs> oh, oh, come here, you guys are the best. Oh, <laughs> there, no, son. Hey, we should have had a party, invited some of your school friends over. Yeah, yeah well, except I have to leave for work in half an hour. But, but listen, Uncle Ben, Aunt May, yeah. my best friends are here in this room with me. Oh, I'll never forget what you've sacrificed to get me started. No sacrifice for someone like you, Peter. A lot of kids today are only looking out for number one, That's like right. that Spider-Man guy. Heard in the news, he let some criminal get away without lifting a finger. Yeah. But you, you're different, and I'm proud of you. Uh... Peter, you've gone pale. I, I, I'm fine, Aunt May. Well, you better cut that cake before the boy goes to work, man. Yeah, where did I put that cake? It's just that suddenly I feel nauseous. And I can't work out whether it's my feelings of guilt or the way my spider sense is telling me something terrible is about to happen. If that ain't our man, I'm Madonna's next boyfriend. Keep your foot down. Uh, Unit 43, update on stolen Great Ford sedan, Nebraska plates, in pursuit of vehicle matching description, just headed into Brooklyn Heights. Driver also matches description of escaped prisoner last seen in Global TV building. Believed to be armed. <laughs> Definitely armed! Over! Okay, Unit 43, stay on his tail. We have three other units converging from the bridge. Also, the Fantastic Four reported us in the immediate vicinity with a mandate to stop this guy. Over! Fantastic Four! Oh, goody, goody. How I love it when us cops are upstaged by a circus act. What speed are we doing, Goldblatt? Around 40. Why? Because somebody's knocking on your window, that's why. Huh? What? Hi, fellas. The human torch! You didn't notice, but Jackson shot out your front tire as well as the door mirror. I've been flying along holding this jalopy straight for the last two blocks, and it's getting kind of boring, you ignoring me and all. Flame out! Sorry, guys. It looks like you won't get to make the collar. But don't worry. Mr. Fantastic and the Thing will head our pal off a block up ahead. Let me that radio, will ya? Strange. No word from Sue or Johnny, and they were on Jackson's tail. Leave it to me, Reed. I'll have him sewing mailbags with fancy embroidery by sundown. Hey, good looking. You hearing me up ahead? Reed's looking at you, flame boy. What's new? What's new? I just said Jackson in your direction in the gray sedan. No gray sedans in the past five minutes, kid. That's impossible. He had to go right back. Reed! Reed! Over here! 
Jackson crashed the car over by these brownstones. He's inside that apartment block with a gun. My God, everybody get back. Let me through. Let me through the line, please. Get back, kid. This escape killer loose in there. No, no, I, I'm Peter Parker. That's where I live. Wait a second. Someone's coming out of the door. It's Jackson with a gun at the head of that old man. Oh, no. Uncle Ben. Ben, Ben. Oh, yeah. Get your hands off of you, sir! Uncle Ben! No! No! Somebody arrest this character! Let me go! Ben! Please! Oh, God! Hey, Sue! After him! Yeah. Uncle Ben! Uncle Ben! Don't die! Please don't! <coughs> PD! You're a good boy! Don't talk, I, Ben! I, I tried to stop him. <coughs> Tried harder than that Spider-Man fella. Yes, do it. Please. Uncle Ben. Dad. Oh. Uncle Ben, Dad. And it was my fault. I could have stopped Jackson the other night. And I didn't. And now, Uncle Ben is dead. Come on, people. Nothing to see. Come back behind me. Chase, it's gotta be Jackson, Captain. I tell him here myself. I can't understand how the Fantastic Four could have lost him. Well, it proves they're still human, I guess. We'll have to deal with this guy on his terms. It won't be easy. He shot that old man hostage in cold blood. Lieutenant! Yeah, Gonzalez. Hi, Cap. Uh, the place is a cold store. No windows, only one entrance. He, he went in and he definitely ain't come out again. Okay, okay. We need to get someone up on the roof. See if there's any... anything... Captain! Just a second, Gonzalez. Well, there is someone on the roof. Or maybe he's heading for it. Look up there! Wait a minute! That's not possible! Oh, she crawl up a vertical wall like that! The red and blue outfit! Uh, I've seen that guy somewhere! Where? On TV? Oh, yeah! Uncle oh, Ben, dead. And I could have prevented it by stopping this guy the other night. Oh, boy. Oh, this web fluid worked okay as part of my Spider-Man TV act, but... That was only ten feet off the ground, indoors. I gotta swing this gap to the cold store roof over a 150-foot drop. No safety net. Well, here goes nothing. To be continued. The Amazing Spider-Man. Positively identified near Mintine High School. Given pursuit. Suspect is now inside school building. There may be hostages. All units to Midtown High. Warning, this man is dangerous and change shape and will. Look here, I demand to know... You be quiet. I was using this dump as a shortcut when the cop spotted me, see? So now I gotta get out of here, but good. So you people are my safe passage. Everyone behave and nobody gets hurt. I am principal of this facility and I demand... Principal, eh? Hmm... You know something? I never graduated school. Maybe this is my chance to get a diploma. What on earth are you talking about? You can write me a diploma. Nice and fancy. Here's a piece of paper. But you must be... Oh, insane. Hannah. There I was, wondering how on earth to find the Sandman, and he turns up in my high school science class. Lucky no one saw me leap up behind the equipment lockers into the ceiling crawl space. Now, if I can just get out of these clothes into the Spider-Man outfit, I should be right above him. No, I certainly won't write out any sort of diploma for you. Qualifications have to be worked for. They have to be earned. Oh, yeah? Hey, there's an old Edward stand up to Sandman. Wow. I think you're the one who needs a lesson, pal, right now. Took the big guy by surprise and landed a punch. Boy, if they only knew they were cheering puny Peter Parker. Uh, a real dramatic entrance, Spider-Man. Wanna take another swing? Hmm, my spider sense tells me he's making his body rock hard for the next blow. So, let's keep the element of surprise. And get the fight away from these kids with a wrestling throw! Yeah! Principal Edwards, get the students out through the windows! Right to her! I'll keep the sand man out here in the corner! You're that coward. He probably left through a window to hide when Sandman fished shows. Flash Thompson, come along, please! 
Sam man recovered real fast from that throw. And now he's swinging arms like sledgehammers at me. Oh, well, let's try a little web squirt here. Now, yeah, wriggle out of that, beast bum. As quickly as you spin your net of web, I simply pour myself through the holes. Darn it. I gotta preserve the element of surprise. And this is just the way to do it. Straight left to his gut before he has time to harden it. Oh, oh maybe not. The guy's gone soft on me. What? what? Got a problem, Spider-Man? My arm. His body is hardened like concrete around it. I can't pull free. Hey, kid. Never mm -hmm. had a love tap from someone with a rock hard head? Oh, no, no. Go! Out for the count, Spider-Man. Too bad, because the Sandman's about to put your career on ice for good. Good, but nobody takes any unnecessary chances. Got me! Let me through! I'm J. Jonah Jameson, let me through! Wait, this I really need. What are you waiting for, Captain? Why don't you charge in there and overpower the Sandman? Look, Mr. Jameson, I don't tell you how to publish your newspapers. I've got to be sure all the students are out of here before the shooting starts. Red team reporting, over. I'm listening. School's cleared, Captain. Good. Stand by. Stand by? Get your men in there now, before Sandman and that menace escape! Hey, you are out of line, mister! We're not after Spider-Man! Far as we know, he's helping us to fight that freak! Ah, he's got you fooled too, eh? How do you know they're not in cahoots? For all we know, this may be a charade! I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. That's the third time I've smashed this guy into cement dust, and here he comes again, rebuilding himself! Uh, not yet, you insect. Gotta get a second to think. I'll make a break for it through this door here. Find a way out! Ouch! Oh, no! I ran into the janitor's closet! Come out of there, kid, or I'll seep through the keyhole after you. Oh, wow. What do I do now? I gotta think fast. Say your prayers, wethead. The janitor's closet. Wait a second. If I time this right... That does it. Now you're gonna get it. I can just sift through after you. Good morning, sir. Grid on your school corridor floor, no problem. Even heavy sand just flies into this double-reinforced poly-nylon dirt bag. The little marvel. Guaranteed by years against leakage or bursting. Want to see how good it is on soft furnishing? Hmm, maybe not. Hey, the boy's in blue just in time. Where's the stem man? Uh, let's say he's in the bag. Uh, wait a second, you mean literally? In his vacuum cleaner? Sounds like it. Give or take a grain or two. Huh? How do we cut them? We can't stand there forever. Try taking the machine to a nice airtight cell and switching it to blow. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, come on, Henry. I think we need to get this thing back to the precinct. Spider-Man! Oh, Quickly, oh. Captain, arrest him on suspicion. Why just do that, Mr. Jameson? As a taxpayer, I demand you hold and question this man. How could he have caught the Sandman so easily if they didn't have a secret plan? Easily? You call that easy? That goon damn near knocked my block now, off! Cool down, you two, or run you both in for disturbing the peace. You can't arrest me. I'm a personal friend of your chief commissioner. I suggest you make your complaints to him, then. Don't you take that line with me. I'll... I'll... Yo, what? Spider-Man, where'd he go? How'd he move so fast? I tell you, Captain, one of these days, you'll see I was right. Wait till my Daily Bugle editorial about him wrecking public property. Sure, sure, Mr. Jameson. Now, if you'll excuse me, Lieutenant... Uh, Mr. Jameson! Parker, I thought this was your school. Don't suppose you managed to get any pictures of those two menaces for me? Of uh, Spider-Man fighting the Sandman? Well, uh. I certainly did. Oh. I haven't had a chance to develop them, but here's the roll of film. Uh, no matter, no matter. Uh, here's your money. Oh, wow. Minus the developing costs, of course. It figures. Good work, Parker. Good work. Drop in again when you have more material for me. Okay. Anything to put another nail in the coffin of Spider-Man's career. Well, look who it ain't, the big tough guy himself. Now you reappear, now the fighting's over. Boy, I bet you felt brave running off while the rest of us was being taken hostage. Uh, no, 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 wait a second. I, 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 I... You have some nerve. Crawling back in here, now everything's been settled. You better I... slime off back home to your precious aunt. No, no, don't you bring my family into this. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna do, creep? Whip my butt! Are you... You... You brainless loudmouth! You've been assaulting me for the last time! I'm gonna wipe that stupid leer off your face right now! Oh, wow! I'm scared! You worm! Then you can turn on me! Suck on this, pal! Wait! What am I doing? 
I can't afford to lose my temper like this. With my spider strength, if I get into a fight with Flash, I'll pulverize him. Take your shot, Pookworm. Hit me. Forget it. You're not worth the trouble. I've got more important things to do. stinking miserable creep flash that's enough enough that was nothing you chicken damn good thing for you spider-man didn't run out of fighting sandman the way you just ran it out on us huh? <laughs> what's with my key i can't get access to the lab i uh, think think reed's working on something secret in the lab so what's new i wanted the fantastic four and i yeah, we can't but... explain now thing but but you mustn't enter reed was most particular Please, Ben. <laughs> How can you only call me Ben when you want something? Waste the time, I'm just a thing to all of you. Thing, would you step inside, please? Uh, I, uh, I certainly would. <laughs> Suppose you tell me what's cooking here, Stretch. What's the big idea locking me out? I couldn't be sure what I was doing would work. I didn't want to disappoint you. I'm listening. Maybe we should have died three years ago. Heaven knows how we managed to get that shuttle into space in those freak conditions. By sheer skill alone, we kept her in one piece long enough to achieve orbit. You were test pilot Ben Grimm then. I was playing Reed Richards, scientist. Sue and Johnny were the hotshot brother and sister spacewalk team. But that radiation leak left us different, and I'm still trying to analyze why. Reed's looking for an antidote thing yeah. to turn you back into Ben Grimm. I can control my power of invisibility. Sure, and I can flame on at will. Reed's body only stretches if he wants it to. We combined our unique skills to become the Fantastic Four, to help others. But although the three of us retained our former appearances by and large... I didn't. That's why I've been working on this formula. I didn't want to raise your hopes, but... Give me that. Hey, oh. wait! He's looking at you, kid. <laughs> Tastes like dream cleaner. Mm. Reed, is it possible anything could reverse physical mutation on such a scale? I mean, Ben Grimm was a handsome, mature man. He put on a couple of hundred pounds when he became... Okay. Oh my, I didn't like the way he collapsed behind that bench, and I don't think I want to see. Reed, is he still alive? I, I think he's. Jeez, that really tasted like dream cleaner. He's Ben Grimm again. It worked. Yes. Holy Toledo! I ain't the thing anymore. Just a regular day for Peter Parker. He made a look at jerk at school by Flash Thompson and condemned his Spider-Man in this morning's article by J. Jonah Jameson in The Bugle. Well, it's time for positive action. I have to be nice to Jameson because the money he pays for exclusive shots of Spidey in action covers Aunt May's bills. And if I'm nice to Flash, he might treat me with more respect. And that means I might resist the temptation of be this stupid fat hat. Well, here it goes. Hey, Flash, how's it going? Shut it, Parker, you louse-infested piece of crud! Strike one. Uh, say, Liz, what's going down? You guys look like you're planning something big. Peter, you'll never guess. Flash has had a really neat idea. A Spider-Man Appreciation Society. <laughs> it's called Smaz for short, and we're gonna get these neat little pins made, and yes, then we're gonna get... invited! Believe me, Flash, I'd rather join the sewage detail at the next Woodstock anniversary concert than join you in anything. <laughs> Don't you worry, I'll get you in the fan club. Well, a little excitement do you good. Now, where'd I put my membership list? Oh, I don't believe it! I don't believe it. An hour ago, I was a thing. How the heck did you reverse the mutation rate? By analyzing the mutagens, the exposure to cosmic radiation created in your genetic structure, I was able to synthesize an antidote. It seems. You're normal again, Ben. This sure throws up a whole load of questions about the Fantastic Four read. Like now with a Fantastic Three. And if we drink that stuff, you won't be a rubber man anymore. Sue won't be able to turn invisible at will. And I'll be plain old Johnny Storm, no longer the Human Torch. I know, Johnny. And the world is beginning to realize it needs marvels like us. 
so. Spill it. All the really big criminals are laying low, almost as if they're regrouping. It could be there's someone organizing them. Someone big. Very big. Could even be Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom? Yeah, well, excuse me if I don't run around screaming in fear. <coughs> Say, Ben, you okay? Ben? Great Scott, look at that cardiac monitor. He's off the scale! Need some help! <coughs> No! No! Ben! Thing! I'm so sorry. I couldn't guarantee a permanent reversal. Oh, jeez. I'm a monster again. Reed, isn't there something that I'm you can... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I tried. You tried. If I hadn't have followed you into that shuttle project in the first place, I'd have never got to look like this to start with. Ben, what could I do? Don't sweat it, Reed. Because what Johnny was saying still stands. It's the fantastic tree from now on. I quit! I'm out of here! No. And I ain't never coming back! Kids from all over town, Katie's at our entertainment desk. What's this all about, Katie? Yesterday it was rock stars. Today it's costumed law enforcers. Former TV specialty actor Spider-Man has got himself in an inaugural fan club meeting at the rooftop. Spider-Man. Huh. Some vaudeville act. Thinks he can hit the big time with a few tricks. New York's too darn full of these costume clever dicks. Time to redress the balance. Costume. Boots, gauntlets, headpiece, and jet powered mini glider. Let's see what the Spider Man fan club makes of the Green Goblin. <laughs> A good boy, helping me home with the groceries, Peter. Shucks, it's at least I could do Aunt May, especially as I'll be out tonight. There you go. You're going to that Spider Man club thing? I thought you said you weren't invited. Well, uh, there's this girl at school helping organizing it, uh, Liz Allen. She's kind of made me her date for tonight. A girl? Yeah. Oh, well, now. <laughs> Not that Spider-Man wouldn't have had to put in an appearance anyway. And just when Peter Parker gets his hottest date ever. Sheesh. Sometimes I don't believe my luck. How do I pull off a double act tonight without arousing suspicion? What? Peter! What's going on? Inside! And they quickly! Somebody's robbing the liquor store in the corner and they're heading this way! Wait a second! No, get in! No, no, I'm not Trouble on our very doorstep and there's no time to change into my Spider-Man suit. Wait a minute. What's that fiery streak approaching? You ain't gonna take me, freak! Each other comes. Show's over! Hey, hey, don't push, don't push. Keep a space, people, okay? Okay, one at a time. He's signing autographs already. Oh, what a big head. I'm going inside before he gets elected president. Hey, 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 hey fella. Hey, fella, I what? saw you hanging around there. It's okay. Don't be shy. You can have an autograph, too. What? Hey, don't bother thanking me now. It's all in a day's work for the human torch. Hey, no, I, blame on. So I can't Hey, what do I do with this? Sleep with it under my pillow? Ah, oh, sheesh. Hey, mister, what? you get his autograph, too. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh no, uh, this is Spider-Man. So, Want to trade? Uh, do I look like a jerk? Blow it out of your ear. That does it. Peter may have a date tonight with Liz Allen, but Spider-Man is definitely going to put in an appearance for his fans as well. Hey, Liz, uh, how's ticket sales going? We flew up yet? 185. We're pretty much full, Flash. A couple more, we'll have to close the doors. Jeez, let's hope Spider-Man turns up. Uh, and now uh, where'd I put my speech? I'd be happy if Peter Parker had showed. I finally managed to get a date with him, and he's nowhere around. Out of my way. Let me pass you. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can I help you? Can you help me, young woman? Presumably, you know who I am. You're Mr. Jameson, the one who writes all those mean things about Spider-Man in the Daily Bugle. Precisely. Now, will you let me through? To the first meeting of his fan club, you have a ticket. A ticket? Haven't you heard of freedom of the press? Sure, but it still costs you a buck and a half to get in. <laughs> Miss Brad! Uh, yes, Mr. Jameson? Give this girl three dollars. You can claim it out of petty cash. Yes, sir. Now, where's that boy that's organizing? Well, there you go, uh, Miss, uh, why, Betty! <laughs> Don't you recognize me? Liz? Yeah! I'm from Queens. <laughs> <laughs> My folks moved. I'm at Midtown now. Yeah? Hey, looks like you made a smart decision quitting school to work for Mr. Jameson. Oh, yeah, well. Ooh, nice outfit. Hey, 
Thank you. <laughs> Shame about the boss. Oh, he's not so bad. Well, sometimes. <laughs> so, you're in Midtown now. Yeah. Hey, you must know Peter Parker. He freelances as a photographer for the Bugle. He does? Yeah. Mm. The boy has hidden debts. Yeah. Well, I think he's pretty cute. Is he uh, coming tonight? Yeah. He's my date. Uh-huh. Strange. I don't see him dancing attendance on your every whim. He'll is. be here, Betty. And shouldn't you be dating someone your own age? Makes a change for a boy to stand you up, Liz. Maybe you're losing your touch. Well, at least I'm not losing my looks, Betty. <laughs> we'll see. <sighs> Must move on. <laughs> oh, give Peter a big wet kiss from me. <laughs> Yuck. Boy, how I'd love to get that skirt a kick in the butt. Miss Brad! Oh, coming, Mr. Jameson! And at Liz Allen, she stole two boys out from under my nose at Queens. Hmm, time for a little payback, I think. Hey, say, Flash, what will happen if Spidey doesn't turn up, huh? Bite your tongue, Seymour, he's got a show! Yeah. Hey, where's that then? Look, on the curtain back of the stage, it's the spider signal! Yeah. He's projecting it from over there by the sound system! Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I wondered whether to turn up here first as Peter Parker so that Liz Allen wouldn't think I'd stood her up. But this way, I get to put in a star appearance and then spend the rest of the evening with Liz. Having made suitable apologies. <laughs> Boy, am I one clever son of a... What? Now, Spider-Man, let's really put on a show. I'm the Green Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> the old ones are the best. <laughs> Listen, pal, whoever you are, get lost. This is my show. Find your own fan club. You don't get it, do you? Get what? I'm gonna kill ya! Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah! Okay, two things. One, over my dead body. Two, for the sake of these innocent bystanders here, make it look like party. Uh, Keep smiling now! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Miss Brandt! Where's Sir? that photographer Parker when we need him? I can see tomorrow's front page headline right now. Room full of kids threatened by Spider-Man's day show. Yeah, by J. Jonah Jameson. What's that? Oh, uh, I said I'd make fun of... Look, Mason, sir. Listen, something tells me that this green guy with pointy ears isn't part of Spider-Man's act. Is that a phone? I'll get it. No, I'll get it. <laughs> then I'll call in a photographer. Maybe Phil will in the It's uh, weird. Oh, yes. Peter Parker's never around when Spider-Man is. Is he yet? Wall crawler! This is crazy. This lunatic's flying rings around me on that flying skateboard while I'm trying to perform my old TV act in front of these kids. Here's an early Halloween present for you! Good move! A pumpkin? And they said, what do I do now? Hey, Spidey! <laughs> Here's a live bucket for you! Oh, no! Whoa, that was close. Get on, Spider-Man! <laughs> You're losing it! Gotta concentrate. Maybe if I can last through that glider thing he's flying on, bring it down. <laughs> Stop the pesky little stuff! Oh! Come on, Spidey! You're way slow for the green goblin! Oh! <sighs> Gotta get out of this situation and get changed somehow! Aunt May needs me! Stand back, people! Give me some room here! Huh? Flame on! The human torch! At Spider-Man fan club meeting! Just checking out the competition, pal! Are you coming quietly or what? Oh, no! My quarry tonight was Spider-Man! Now he's gone, I shall leave! Spider-Man's gone? You're right. He is gone. 
I shall leave you with a memento of our visit. Very funny. Hey, oh, Three cheers for the human toy! Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Do you see Spider-Man run out on the goblin? He's chicken. Some hero he is. Had to get the human toy to bail him out. Oh, boy. Excuse me. Peter? Peter Parker? Uh, uh, Oh, uh, Liz, uh, I, I didn't see you there. We had a date tonight. Where were you? Oh, uh, oh Liz, I'm sorry. I, I was held up, uh, but I gotta go. Oh, your aunt? Yeah. yeah, I heard. I'll catch you tomorrow. Uh, yeah, sure. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, say, Liz, that your date running out on you? Oh, come on, Flash. Peter's aunt has been taken ill. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, okay, listen up, people. The meeting ain't over. We got elections for the Spider-Man fan club committee. Friends are what? Spidey must have had a reason for leaving like that. He's a great guy, and you'll all admit it one day. Yeah, right, uh, just right. you wait and see, huh? Uh, get the rewrite boys on the phone, Miss Brandt. Yes, Contact sir. the picture editor. See if we have picture any library shots of Spider-Man we can crop to make it look as if he's running away. But Mr. Jameson. I can see tomorrow's headline now. Spider-Man turns ticket. Ah, we'll outsell everything else on the newsstands. Oh. And the editorial will be an eyewitness account by J. Jonah Jameson. Now bury that little creep. Oh, dear. Are you certain, Johnny? Maybe after you flamed on, something happened that you didn't see. Well, what could have made him turn and run the way he did? Especially when a room full of kids was in danger. Spider-Man's not exactly on your list of favorite people, Johnny. I'd have thought that this would be an occasion for celebration. Yeah, well, I thought he was okay, but it seems I was wrong. Boy, nothing ever turns out the way you expect. First the thing leaves us. Now Spider-Man turns out to be a moron. Ain't there any good news left in the world? Uh, <clears throat> well, there might be. Read. Ah, uh, why not, sir? What, what? I got spinach stuck between my teeth? What? Johnny, as my brother, you should be the first to know. Yes. Yeah. Sue and I are getting engaged. We're gonna be married. Married! The Invisible Girl and Mr. Fantastic! Flame on! Flame on! Yeah! Hey, that's extra hot! Congratulations! Thanks. Boy, the only way I could be happier is if that walking pile of boulders came in through the door and said... Honey, I'm home. Bang! And you guys ain't never gonna believe who I found. Spider-Man ran out and left over a hundred teenagers in their face. The decent people of New York have got flies in the Charlotte. This is and bad. Really bad. I, J. Jonah Jameson, am proud to say that we were the first to expose him as a dangerous fraud. At last, we're rid of that... Ah, oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, oh, M.A. Oh, no, no, shh, shh, shh. Don't talk. What? Save your strength. Be in the hospital. You had a heart attack. Don't worry. I'm here for you. That's good. You won't run out on me. Not like that Spider-Man. No, Aunt May. I, I won't oh. run out on you like Spider-Man. Oh. I'm here. Oh. Hey, is this some kind of gag thing? You you turn up after a week with some old wino and say, guess who I found? Oh, ew, oh, I can see the filthy rink. I don't know, the hat and a beard like Rip Van Winkle. Oh, and the smell. Oh, you don't get it, but you will when I take off his hat. There. Oh. <laughs> Holy bazooka, this guy's got pointy ears. There's only one race of people in the real world got ears like these. The Atlanteans, but they're extinct. The undersea races are all extinct. Apparently not, Reed. Looks like the thing is not a genuine submariner. <laughs> not just any submariner suit. When I found this guy in a flop house over by the harbor, I hit the jackpot. Surely not him. Surely he died way back. He hasn't been heard of since the 1940s. Now, wait a second, it is possible. Their metabolisms work more slowly. He wouldn't have aged too much physically. And those eyes, the likeness is unmistakable. Could it be? Well, why don't we ask him? Hey, hey. hey mister, what's your name? Name? Yeah. I am... was... Prince Namor, ruler of Atlantis. Mm -hmm.
Everybody's coming. <clears throat> Good morning, team. What a beautiful day. Good morning, Mr. Jameson. Miss Brandt? Yes, sir. Have you changed your hair color? What? It looks quite pleasant. Uh, thank you, Mr. Jameson. Are you feeling well? Well? Uh, never better. Oh. Now then, where's my appointments list? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. ah, meeting scheduled with young Peter Parker. Yes, sir. Is he here yet? Well, I he... feel so good today, I could even like him. How is his aunt? Uh, she's back at home now on medication. She's recovering from a heart attack. Good, good. Now, let's see what's happening in the early editions. Uh, uh, Betty? Yeah? Uh, is Mr. Jameson in? Peter Parker, I don't know how you have the gall to speak to me after what you did at that Spider-Man fan club meeting. Uh, sorry? How could you date Liz Allen that night when you knew how much I wanted to go? Oh, uh, well, Liz asked me. Oh. Besides, weren't you there with Jameson? Oh, I was working. You didn't give me an excuse to get away early. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, look, I have an appointment. Oh, he's um, expecting you go right in. Make the most of his good mood. I intend to. <laughs> Thanks. Hmm. The undersea invasion of New York. I remember my parents telling me about it. A diplomatic misunderstanding that led to open conflict between humankind and the submariners. We only narrowly avoided defeat. Yeah, I saw that old newsreel footage of the tidal wave they sent to engulf the city. We're lucky to be here. And at the head of the Atlanteans, one proud man. And Thing found him a drunken derelict in a harborfront refuge. Prince Namor, the submariner at your service. Whoa, you sure look different without that beard. No. He looks the same, the same as he did years ago. Humans wither and die, even those as fair as this woman. The undersea peoples are immortal. That's one way to spend immortality, looking at life through a bottle of hooch. Have a care, my friend. Atlanteans are creatures of passion. I led my people to a devastating defeat. For this failure, I imposed exile upon myself, had myself cast out. I have seen life in your world through the eyes of its dispossessed, and I now know why I was defeated. Okay, so why? What have we humans got you submariners ain't got? Your institutions see no merit in scruples, no profit in mercy. You are cruel by neglect of the weak, driven by an ideology of greed. Our code of honor made us hold back from annihilating you. You showed no such consideration in return. Hold it, buddy. Times have changed. Mankind's getting his act together. Yeah. The decision is not mine to make. I will return to Atlantis, to the Hall of the Ancients, and there we will decide whether it would be safest to apply for admission to the United Nations or to declare war upon mankind. What? Now get out of my office! Oh, wow. I didn't think this good mood would last, but you sure finished it off. Sorry, Betty. Oh, and I wanted to ask for time off, too. No. Oh, I just thought I might be able to raise a little cash to help pay off Aunt May's medical bills. Oh, how is she? Oh, she's recovering from the heart attack, but the medication is real expensive. Oh, Peter, if there's anything I can do... Well, I'd quit high school and get a job, but if I dropped out now, Aunt May would probably have another heart attack. Mm. Oh, I know. How about I keep an eye open on the news agency reports coming in? If any big stories break involving Spider-Man, I could let you know. Uh, Maybe JJ would run it anyway. Yeah, well, thanks, Betty, but even I've had a basin full of Spider-Man right now. Mm. Okay, what about the story that came in on the wire half an hour back about the Fantastic Four? Did you know they found Prince Namor? Prince Namor? Yeah! <laughs> You're kidding! No! Well, the next thing, Elvis Presley will land a UFO on top of the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Don't be silly, you didn't have a pilot's license. This is true, uh, no, really. Forty years after he disappeared, and he looks just the same as when he was defeated in the Submariner Wars. And guess what? They're taking him on a Navy carrier back out to the Atlantic Ridge. Are you serious? Yeah! Namor's alive and they're taking him home to Atlantis? <laughs> Wow, oh, what a gift to be aboard that ship! Not here, Not here, Not here Well, Mr. Richards, should I call you Mr. Fantastic? If these old charts are to be trusted, the location on the Atlantic Ridge from where our honored guest led his peoples against the United Nations is around three miles below us, some 50 miles ahead. I don't understand, Admiral. We've dropped anchor 50 miles short of our destination. Mr. Richards, I fought in the Submariner Wars as an ensign aboard the Forrestal. Fact is, we used some fairly primitive nuclear weapons against the Atlanteans when it looked as if Namor might gain the upper hand. Oh, my. So that's why you asked me up here alone. And now you know why there's a secret international agreement that keeps all shipping out of these waters. Hence the 40-year-old chart. Mm. But Namor's no fool. He'll have noticed we've dropped anchor. He doesn't suspect anything. Yeah. But just in case, I put him under armed guard in the brig. What? He's under diplomatic immunity. You want to start another war? What happens when the Atlantean elders hear of this? He's their ruler for crying out loud. Mr. Richards, the Atlanteans will never hear about this. Believe me. What do you... Oh, good God. I see what you mean. 
security the bridge. Emergency. Admiral Kiefer, what is it? Admiral said the prisoners escaped. Prince Namor. Namor. He's heading for the flight deck. The boy, is he mad? Now hear this. Prince Namor of Atlantis has escaped security and is at liberty aboard this vessel. Red code alert. Fantastic Four members have full security clearance in this search. Any luck, Ding? Sue and I checked out every deck below the waterline. No sign of Namor in the aircraft room storage. There was security crawling over the flight deck. Oh, this base can't jump ship. Not yet, anyhow. <laughs> if I was flying, we could search this tub at half the time. I'd flame on if there wasn't so much aviation fuel around. Where's Mr. Fantastic? On the bridge with the Admiral. Seems we've anchored 50 miles short of the coordinates for Atlantis. I don't get it. The Admiral's orders were to take Namor back to his people. I got a bad feeling about this whole setup, Johnny. Why did they lay on this aircraft carrier just to ferry this guy back to his hometown? Even if it is three miles under the ocean, it doesn't add up. Yeah, it's almost as if the authorities were expecting something like this to happen. Yeah, and us guys, the Fantastic Four, could turn out to be the Bickle in their Namor sandwich. This is Prince Namor with a message for the commanding officer of this vessel. What? I have a hostage. Oh, no. You will hand this aircraft carrier over to me, or she will suffer the consequences. Namor, don't be a fool. They'll never... Holy mackerel, it's so... Jeez. Where the heck could he be holed up with her? Damn it, Namor. You'll never get the authorities to play ball with these tactics. Miss Storm, Sue, they broke their word. We are anchored miles from my home and I was put in chains. They wish to use me as a bargaining chip and exploit the people of Atlantis yet again. I agree something's going on. We're not being told the whole truth. That's why I came and freed you. But you've got to act rationally. Are you sure you were being rational when you used your invisibility to assist me? I... I don't know what you mean. We both feel it, you and I. <laughs> The minute we first looked at each other, at your fantastic four headquarters. Namor, please! Reed and I are engaged to be married! Listen to me, Sue Storm. You will wait here exactly five minutes before you give the alarm. And when I have ascended the throne of Atlantis, I will return for you to rule it as my queen. No! I... would you... Farewell, my love. I shall return! J. Jonah Jameson. J. J. Phil here. Uh, Phil, good to hear you. How's Doris and the girl? Yes, yeah, don't they always? Uh, Spider-Man? The little creep hasn't been heard of since he ran out on the fight with a green goblin last week. Oh, you got a story on it? Uh, near Queens? Did what? He did what? <laughs> oh, boy, that's rich. <laughs> I got to write it up. Yeah, take it easy. Yeah, yeah, take it easy. <laughs> Mr. Jameson, there's been a break in the Prince Namor story. Apparently he's broken loose on the aircraft carrier, taking him back to Atlantis, and they were... Mr. Jameson, are you okay? I just heard the greatest thing. Sir? There's a bunch of punks holding up a gas station. In swings Spider-Man, and what does he do? Oh, no. He runs straight into a phone booth and calls the cops. Oh. What a superhero! What a klutz! <laughs> JJ, the Green Goblin's back. Rob the jewelry store, just seen zooming over Brooklyn on that rocket-powered sled thing of his. And get this, Spider-Man seems to be on his tail. <laughs> Get a couple of boys in the story, Steve. But don't bother with a Spider-Man angle. Stick with the cop units. Spider-Man's all washed up. Right. To be continued. <laughs> hey, Spidey! <laughs> I'm gaining on ya! Looks like those little web shooter lines are no match for my goblin glider! <laughs> That's where you're wrong, goblin! And I'm gonna take you down for keys this time! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I wish I felt as confident as I sound. Catch, catch me! There'll be no one to look after at May. And I promise myself to stay out of trouble and call the police if anything dangerous comes up. <laughs> oh, so why am I swinging from one skyscraper to another instead of getting her new medication home? Oh, Never that fight. green nose wipe made me look an idiot. If I could run him in, Spider-Man will get back his good name. Spider-Man! The photos I've taken of this aerial obstacle course might just pay off her medical bills. Catch, catch me! Getting on it now. <laughs> Let's drive our web line around the stairs of that skateboard thing. Let go! Uh, no! No! No fair! Uh, oh. You're weak, buddy! Hey, that is that guy that broke that apartment block! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Just wrapping you up so you can't cause more trouble, pal. Oh, ho, ho, sounds like the cops are on their way already. Ha, that's an ambulance. Too bad it's not for you. An ambulance? Oh, my God. What am I thinking about? 
Aunt May's medication. Uh, now, you, you wait here, Gobby. Uh, the cops are bound to pick you up. I got urgent business. What? <laughs> You're running out now. You got me cold. What's wrong? Check it! Wildcat one to flight control, advise, please. You got three F-14A sitting out here in the rain, burning gas. Are we flying this reconnaissance or what? This is flight control USS Intrepid. I copy Wildcat one. We have a hold on flight deck movement still. Prince Namor has been recaptured. He is still at liberty somewhere aboard ship. I copy you, Bernie. But the Fantastic Four probably got him pinned below deck. And if we ain't taking off, I want the bathroom. <laughs> Sorry, Wildcat one. Hey, Joey, what you open the canopy for? Hey, it wasn't me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am Prince Namor of Atlantis, and this aircraft is mine. You got it, pal. Ah! Wildcat One, do you read? Now, enough fuel for a one-way trip. Good. Wildcat One, taxi back to position. No need for the ship's catapult. The afterburners kick in. Stop that aircraft! It's been stolen by Prince Jonah Jameson's gonna make hay out of Spider-Man running out on a confrontation with a Green Goblin yet again. But I nearly forgot I was supposed to get this new medication back to Aunt May. Uh, nearly at the apartment window. Uh, right. A quick change into jeans and t-shirt. Peter! Uh, hi, Aunt May. Got your pills, huh? Uh, where's Mrs. Watkins? Oh, Peter, she can't be with me all the time. Her what? niece Mary Jane is away and she had errands to run. Besides, we thought you'd be home sooner. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I got held up. Doesn't matter, Peter. Let's watch the TV. Oh, tonight. boy. I don't think I'd dare leave the house again, let alone patrol the Spider-Man. If I got into a fix I couldn't get out of, there'd be nobody to look after Aunt May. And now, a news time special, sponsored by the Daily Bugle. Good afternoon. I'm J. Jonah Jameson, and you are watching footage of oh, the Oh, look, Peter, isn't that Spider-Man on the, the TV? Green Goblin huh? and the South Style Spider-Man pulling the Green Spider Goblin down to that rooftop? As the city what? Watched it <gasps> Holy Hannah, there must have been a TV crew filming the whole thing. ...and fled in fear, rather than bring his cornered adversary to justice. What? Let's watch that scene no, again in you've slow gone pale. ...the savors of full impact of Spider-Man's cowardly... Risk. What? <laughs> no, what I'm discredited in front of the whole city as a coward, and as long as Aunt May remains seriously ill, there's nothing I can do about it. He's dead. Prince Namor is dead? Hey, Sue, take it easy. I take respected it easy. him too, honey, but he was out of control. No ordinary person steals a jet fighter off an aircraft carrier flight deck and 15 minutes later deliberately crashes it into the sea. Reed Namor is no ordinary person. He's a submariner, a prince of Atlantis trying to get home. And this walking pile of red tape wouldn't even anchor within 50 miles of the Atlantic Ridge. Miss Storm, I don't think you understand. Listen, Admiral. We understand just enough to wonder why someone with diplomatic immunity is putting chains aboard your boat. Yeah, and what is all this stuff Reed and you were whispering about secret international treaties keeping ships away from the Atlantic Ridge? Well, you guys know that we don't. I'll tell you, Mr. Storm, we don't go any closer because no one knows what we might find there. There's an area of deep ocean over the site of Atlantis which still carries the detritus of the Submariner Wars. The 40-year-old wreckage of ships and aircraft belonging to both the human and Atlantean forces Namor led against us. And worse. Worse. It's never been officially admitted, but nuclear weapons were used. Primitive warheads dropped into the Atlantic deeps. Low megaton, high radioactive yield. Supposing Namor ejected from that aircraft before it hit. Supposing he's descended to his kingdoms. What would he find there? Uh, it doesn't bear thinking about. Admiral, Admiral, sir, I've got a sonar right here. Sam, that's a fast one. What's it look like? Uh, I have Sam on the size of the torpedo, but the speed is incredible and it's headed straight for us. Battle stations! Speed that thing's going, it'll hit before we can maneuver the intrepid. Put it on the viewer. <laughs> That's no torpedo. A human being? A submariner. Nemo. Nice work, Reed. Ben, I wasn't responsible for the destruction of Atlantis. No, but maybe the Admiral could have warned Namor what to expect when he returned home. Quiet, please. Where's the trace now, Yeoman? We're turning about, sir, but he's adjusting force to shadow us. Estimating impact in five seconds, Admiral. Stand by, torpedo deflectors! Aye, aye, sir! No! You mustn't hurt him! Ooh. Brace for collision! What's that? He just passed by underneath us. What the heck was that all about? Sonar, was that a dummy run? Is he turning for the attack proper? Admiral, just milliseconds before impact, I got another trace directly below us. A 
are submersible? And what happened to us shattered us since we left U.S. waters? What are you talking about? Where's Namor? According to these readings, he swerved off and boarded that vessel. It's still underneath us. Get charges! Stand by to fire on my mark! Aye, aye, sir! The trace is moving, and it is a sub, and it's moving off! Fantastic Four, out on deck now! Anything? Yes, if I see the girl I want to marry getting hung up over a homicidal submariner. Reed, not now. Look, there. Huh? Breaking the surface of that wave. A periscope? No! Holy Tuscaloosa! It's surfacing! Step charges! Fire! They're out of range, surely, moving away at that speed. Whoa, the size of that ship. Wait a minute! That's not an Atlantean vessel! Oh no! Look at the emblem on its side! The hooded death set figure! Trouble. We gotta get back to New York fast and warn the world! Dr. Doom has returned! And Prince Namor of Atlantis is his captive! Over to local news now, and J. Jonah Jameson, publisher of the Daily Bugle, has announced that New York is now a spider-free zone. This refers, of course, to the vigilante known as the Spider-Man, who apparently fled in fear rather than confront the thief. <sighs> Spider-Man is discredited in front of the whole city as a coward. And as long as Aunt May remains seriously ill, there's nothing I can do about it. So that leaves me one option. Costume, mask, web shooters, belt. Wrap up in a neat bundle. Got it. And boom, throw it in the trash can. I'm playing Peter Parker, teenager, from now on. Goodbye, Spidey. I have a hunch no one's gonna miss you. Costume, <laughs> mask, boots, uh, belt. <laughs> How do I look, girls? Oh, just like Spider-Man, oh. Flash. Really neat. Uh, you did a great job on the mask, Betty. Oh, well, much as I hate to agree with you, Liz, um... I agree with you. Just wait till the Spidey fan club sees this. Yeah. You'll be a wow as chairman in an authentic Spider-Man costume. Especially the mask. <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta do something to prove that kids in this town wanna stick up for old Webhead. And whatever reason Spidey had for running away from the Green Goblin, I bet it was a good one. Our membership's up, despite the bad publicity from J. Jonah Jameson. Uh, sure. Uh, maybe we can still win him over, and now Betty's joined us. Hey, look, I'm only a secretary. Whatever J.J. has got against Spider-Man is strictly personal. Uh, talking about membership, Flash, won't you let me enroll Peter Parker? Are you kidding? Can you imagine if Spider-Man was in trouble, that bookworm creep lifting a finger to help him? But... I forget it, Liz. Oh. I'd rather see J. Jonah Jameson throw this Spidey outfit in the trash. I am Prince Namor of Atlantis. I cannot be held captive. I have been transported aboard this vessel against my will. Who has done this to me? Who? In the name of Poseidon, are you? Make way in here. Make way for the master. <laughs> of what master do you speak, you stunted human puffball? Uh, teaming up my glasses. You dare to hold me captive? No, I do. You? Who are you? Put still be down. And if I do not, you suffer. <laughs> I am Victor Von Doom, Prince Namor, and you will learn to like me. Dr. Doom, self-styled master of the hidden arts. Hidden being the operative word, he hasn't been seen for years. I thought that ghastly hat got leveled in the Balkan Wars. Huh. He probably started that little party. He probably profited from it, Thing. That's some ex-classmate you got there, Reed. Victor Von Doom. He was on some kind of scholarship exchange between State University and the Science Institute of Latveria. Hmm. At first, we didn't see much of him, but there were rumors he was conducting all kinds of bizarre experiments in extra-dimensional communication. Extra what? He thought he could invent a kind of transporter device to the afterlife, Johnny. Something to do with his mother dying young. Huh? Reed felt sorry for him. Tried to make friends. I was curious as well, Sue. Yeah. I found his notes lying open in the university library. The idea looked almost workable. Some of his formulae were wrongly constructed. There was a design error in his device's power coupling. Richard, I'm busy. Victor! I have to talk to you! I have your notes! What? 
You stole my notes! You left them in the library. But listen, you're in great danger. Get out. Can't you see I'm in the middle of an experiment? Come away from that. That machine you uh, built is uh, unsafe! Uh, my particle transmitter is perfectly safe. Now get out! You'll have your chance to see it in action once I've completed my test. If you run it up to full power, it'll overload! Get away from that switch, fool! Victor, I promise you I'm telling you the truth! Get out! Get out! This is my triumph! My turning point! My... And because of Reed Richards, I am as you see me today, Namor, forced to wear this iron mask to hide my disfigurement, this armor to protect me from his insane attacks on me, this monk's habit to disguise myself to evade persecution. ETA to target. Two minutes, master. Very good. Summon Dilby. This submarine and its cyborg crew are at your bidding, yet you hold me captive, punish me, and then say you wish to form an alliance. My apologies for that unfortunate introduction, Prince Neymar. You wanted me, Master. It was, of course, Dilby's fault. Dilby, prepare the satellite uplink for my television transmission. Is it my privilege, Master? <laughs> but an alliance against one man, Reed Richards? No, no, Reed Richards is mine, and thereby a certain Miss Storm will become yours. Oh, the lovely Susan. Well, coincidentally, you and I will bring about the defeat of all mankind. Impossible. I have no weapons. I have no country. I have no people. Oh, I have the weapons. They're all in place. As to your people... Master, we have arrived. New screen on. Welcome home, Submariner! Atlantis, dead ahead. Permission to dock. Granted. Atlantis still exists. <laughs> You Dutch, this door's got a bad luck on the inside, too. It just, it just won't give. Please, let's try that roof over there. With some mold, this apartment block's full of wall safes with cranky combination locks. Yeah. Believe me, my brother Slim fitted them himself. Yeah. Hey, what the? Oh, oh no! Oh, 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 no! Oh, oh, in spite of me, run for it! Oh, I'm running! Uh, wow! Before I check out how this outfit would look in the daylight, but I had no idea those guys were trying to break into our apartment block. Flash, your breakfast is ready. Come in, Mom. Neat. Just the sight of old Flash Thompson and his spidey outfit scared him off. And that news chopper was circling around here earlier. Bet they thought I was Spider-Man, too. Maybe being a superhero ain't so tough off the wall. Maybe I'll, I'll cut class this morning and have me a little fun with this outfit. Blake! I'm not hungry! Well, that's a waste of a bullet, Corn Blake. I'll catch you later. <sighs> you know, a week since I decided to forget Spider-Man and try and make a normal life for myself. I should have done it long ago, straight after I caught the guy who killed Uncle Ben. Uh, being Spidey gave Peter Parker the confidence to behave more like one of the guys, uh, despite Flash Thompson's hostility. But I'm all Aunt May's gut. I don't dare take the sort of risks which might leave her alone in the... What? Aunt May? In the kitchen, Peter. Breakfast is nearly ready. What? You can't make breakfast. The doctor said you should take it easy for a month. Nonsense. I know when I'm feeling better. Now listen, Emmy. I'm ordering you. Get back in that wheelchair right... Oh, eat that toast, boy. You've looked pale all week. I'm supposed to look after you. You must worry so much about me. We Parkers are tougher than you think. Uh-huh. Now, I want you to stop moping around the house like you have this last week. Where's my newspaper? Good riddance to Spider-Man the Phony Hero by J. Jonah Jameson. Phony hero. Maybe JJ's right. A real hero wouldn't quit when the going got tough, no matter how bad the breaks. Aunt May's making the most of what she's got in life, despite the setbacks. And if fate gave Peter Parker some terrific superpowers when that radioactive spider bit me, so will Spider-Man. We are submerged and approaching East River, New York, Dr. Doom. <laughs> you promised me a boon, old master. May I give Namor the signal? Is there a captive for me to torture? Watch. Your task is simple, Dilby. Somewhere in New York, there is a young man who will perform a valuable service for me. You will bring him here. You promise I can kill him afterwards? What is his name? You may kill him afterwards. And his name is Spider-Man. Daily 
you do go here? Everybody, everybody, he's coming. Good morning, Mr. Jameson. Oh. Um, Mr. Jameson, are, are you okay? Shall I go to the drugstore for your special cream? Somebody tell me it's not true. It's not true. Stop crawling, damn it. Hi, Mr. Jameson. Hi, everybody. Uh, uh, something wrong? Parker, was that Spider-Man seen live this morning on the news, or wasn't it? Spider-Man? Well, on the news this morning? Miss Brand! Yes, sir. Get me global broadcasting global and broadcasting. put them through to my yes, office. Oh, Peter, is everything okay? Yeah, until a second ago, I only came in to see about some photographic oh, work. Betty? Peter? Liz? Liz Allen, why aren't you at school? What was wrong? I had to talk to Betty, but you might as well know, I'm really worried about Flash. Flash Thompson? I thought you had better taste. No! No, 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 no. I'm scared he'll be hurt. What? Betty and I made the Spider-Man outfit for him. And something he said last night about proving Spidey is still a hero. Uh, about wearing that costume on the street today. What? Well, I thought he was kidding. Oh, but... those pictures of Spider-Man on the TV news this morning. I no. thought it looked more like Flash in that suit. Oh, the idiot. Spider-Man has enemies all over the place. Exactly. Attention, beautiful newsroom. Reports coming in of an unauthorized TV satellite feed jamming all channels, broadcasting a message by Doctor Doom and <gasps> Spider-Man. Oh, what? Oh, uh, Betty, the, the TV. Yeah. Got it. This is Doctor Doom communicating with a message of grave importance to you all, but initially to the Fantastic Four. You may recognize this character. <gasps> Spider-Man, who is my helpless captive, and if I must say so, judging by this specimen, America's standards in superheroes are slipping. Liz, sleeping. Betty, I, I feel nauseous. Uh, excuse me while I visit the washroom. Peter? Oh, not now, sure. Now, attention, the Fantastic Four. Unless you promise to disband and surrender to me one at a time, I will kill Spider-Man in precisely one hour. Painfully. Jeez, what do we do? How can we find him in an hour flat? Reed, Reed, will you quit watching this on TV? That's it, of course. That's what? You know where Dr. Doom is holding Spider-Man hostage? Of course I know where Doom is. We all know where Doom is. This better be good, Stretch. He's here, oh. in my laboratory. Oh. Ah, Reed Richards and the former Fantastic Four. How kind of you to surrender so quickly, and on live television. Why, you armor-plated slimeball, I'll clobber you for keeps. That's precisely what you won't do, Thing. Show them, Dilby. Spider-Man, <laughs> limbs are attached to your building's power supply, Mr. Fantastic. Do try something foolish so that I can pull the switch. <laughs> what are you doing with Spider-Man, Doom? Let the kid go. Oh, no, no, no. Spider-Man has proved admirable bait. It was surprisingly easy to capture him. I'm sure it will be a simple matter to reprogram him. After all, even Prince Namor came around to my way of thinking in the end. Namor? What have you done with him? I simply took him home to his people. Wait, wait, wait. But we were told Atlantis was destroyed. The part on the upper Atlantic ridge was. Namor didn't know that the nuclear depth devices dropped into the Atlantic deep itself failed to explode because of the enormous pressure. The submariners there survived humanity's attempts to kill them. In exchange for those primitive but quite serviceable nuclear weapons, I undertook to return their prints to them. You have nuclear weapons in that submarine? The Navy will blow you out of the water. The submarine has been scuttled. Its crew of cyborgs deactivated. I need no protection against the Fantastic Four. Not now I have dispossessed you of this facility. What? I have always planned to move my American operation into a good central New York location. So when I bought this building, it seemed logical to throw the sitting tenants out and adapt it to my needs. If you throw pillows, jacuzzi, and or pools, and be nice and homey. <laughs> you, you bought the Fantastic Four building? Yes, and your lease on these floors is terminated by order of the landlord, me. That does it. Blame on. Sylvie, the power switch. Oh, thank you. Flame out! Damn it! We can't just surrender! Reed, he has nuclear weapons hidden God knows where! Spider-Man's life is at stake! I need time to think! Time is not on your side, I'm afraid. You see, it's all rather more complicated than you think. Okay, Rattletrap, spill your guts. The radar scanner, please, Dilby. Yes, Master. 
Good grief. Look at the size of that trace. It covers the whole of the eastern seaboard. And it's converging on New York. The Atlantean invasion has begun. Mankind is doomed. What's that? The intruder alarm. Someone's in the building. Let's try it here, Betty. Oh! What is this? Co-ed playtime? Um, we, we were watching, watching the TV here and worked out. You were holding it here. That's not Spider-Man. No. It's Flash Tops. Yeah. We came to rescue him. Oh, here. for goodness sake. Doobie. Kill the idiot in the spider suit. Oh! Thank you, Master. Just a minute! <laughs> okay, Shorty, let's turn off the juice. Spider-Man, he's back! Go get him, kid. And how would I know this one is the real Spider-Man? Oh, Dr. Doom, I presume. Well, let's try the consumer test here. Can our brand X Spidey spin his own web? Huh? Is this go dear? Can he walk on ceilings? Uh-huh. Uh, is he beating ten kinds of crud out of the guy who just electrocuted him? Uh-huh. Uh, nope. Whereas with me, you get the worst. You threw Dilby out of the window. Superheroes don't kill people. They don't? I'll get him back for you. Ah, can I come down off the ceiling, you talking sardine can? Oh, yes, you are indeed the genuine article, idealistic, arrogant youth. Ah, if only you knew, pal. Say, what's going on outside? Prince Namor is leading the forces of Atlantis against New York. What? Thanks to Dr. Doom here. And we're powerless to stop him. Powerless? Not at all, Fantastic Four. This is the occasion of your last mission on behalf of the ordinary people you claim to protect. The little people. Go out and defeat Namor if you can. He's nothing to me. And if by chance you were killed, he will save me the bother of executing you. Go and save your city from invasion. We can go just like that. Go, go. But bear one thing in mind. Huh? You have precisely one hour to accomplish the defeat of Namor's armies. That is when the nuclear devices I have placed in this building are time to explode. What? I have to be certain you come back, Reed. I've yet to have my revenge on you for the explosion that disfigured me. So, off you go. Try to save New York from Namor if you want to save it from me. The war has started. Humans against submariners. Well, let's go win it. Fantastic Four, let's go. Where's Betty? Get Flash out of here. Not so fast. Seal the room, Dilby. You bet I Spider-Man and young friends, it's time for a cozy chat. Cozy? <laughs> Hello, girl. Oh, get your paws off! You need a Right after I take a can opener to that suit of armor you're wearing, pal. Oh, yeah! My fist! It'll take more than a punch from someone with the proportional strength of a spider to pierce the armor of Victor Von Doom. So you've done your research on me. A fascinating case full of contradictions. What a pity I haven't the time to vivisect you. Instead, a simple act of pest extermination is called for. Still be my power finger, if you please. It is here, Master, in its jewel case. Power finger? A simple prosthetic, but a little too lethal to wear all day. That's got it. Oh, very nice. What are you going to do with it? Basically, kill you. <laughs> Amphibious machines coming ashore are totally impervious to the artillery fire from the National Guard. According to this radio, the military have ordered an airstrike. There's a squadron of F-18s and Strike Eagles en route for the harbor front. You know what's going to happen, don't you? This will escalate into all out war between the human race and the submariners, just like it did 40 years ago. Sue's right, and the four of us ain't going to stop anybody once that's done. We don't have time to discuss this. Look over toward Liberty Island. Damn, the Air Force. We've been dealt out of this game, guys. Those birds carry nuclear weapons. I don't get it. The Atlantean machines haven't fired a single shot. Look out, guys. There's one right behind you. Huh? Oh, wow. The hatch is opening on the side. Fantastic Four, this way. Namor! We're trapped. We have to go aboard that thing. What choice have we got? We have to find a way to stop Namor. So the only person who can stop Dr. Doom is some cookie kid who thinks he's a spider. Oh, leave Spider-Man alone, you monster! Quiet, you tramp. Oh, 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 Spider-Man, what a pathetic excuse for a name. 
So Dr. Doom is your real name? It is actually, unlike yours. But I have followed your career, such as it is, with some interest. The newspaper reports about you are hardly flattering. Um, excuse me, um, Mr. Doom? Mm. Um, those reports were written by my boss, G. Jonah Jameson. Really? There's a very fat file on you here at the Fantastic Four headquarters, Spider-Man. Let's see now. Spider-Man risks to society. What unnatural impulses make this guy dress up to chase crooks? Have we a psychopath loose in New York City? Yep, that's Mr. Jameson's job. I take it you're not planning to win any popularity contest, Spider-Man? And that's not all. I've been reviewing the databanks Reed Richards has installed in this laboratory. You don't appear to have made much of an impression on America's premier superhero band. Stolen from me. I tell you, team, this is just the sort of guy to turn into a threat to what? society. You mean the Fantastic oh, no. Four might end up having oh, to run him in? He could turn into a That's jumper. you they're talking about, Spider-Man. <laughs> You're not a hero at all, are you, boy? Just some poor kid who didn't know what to do with the hand fate dealt him. I guess... I guess so. Help me, Dr. Doom. Show me where I went wrong. And I'll do anything you want. Of course you will, Spider-Man. No, no, he's a hero! You tell him, Liz. Don't listen to him, Spidey! Really? And do you deny this other boy here dressed himself up in a spider outfit because Spider-Man himself lost his nerve and failed to appear in public? Hmm? Uh... Something happened to turn you into a Spider-Man? personal loss. A death, perhaps, of a parent, as I lost my mother. No, I think a foster parent, but close enough to make you want vengeance, and having taken it, not knowing how to rationalize your anger. Am I right? Yes. Yes, you are right, Dr. Doom. <laughs> I need help. Dr. Doom will help me. Of course you do, and of course I will. Oh, Spider-Man! I need help. I can help you, son. Thus, Dr. Doom, you're a good boy. A good boy. You're a good boy, Petey. I tried to stop him. Tried harder than that Spider-Man fella. Too late. Uncle Ben. You won't run out on me. Not like that Spider-Man. And me. How is it for you now, boy? Will you face up to your inner demons? Let me show you my... Who disturbs the realm of the dread to Mamu? One who has sinned against his own blood. One who is unclean. No! No! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I... Oh. Flash, don't talk. Just rest. I need help. Dr. Doom, please help me. Yes, buddy. You're my hero. I never had a hero like you before. You're the greatest. You gotta stand up to that freak. You're the hero. Please. Huh? How touching. I need help. <laughs> but not as much as you do, Buckethead. <laughs> my power finger. I can't get the webbing off it. Now you're in trouble, Spider-Man. <laughs> Dead trouble! Yes, go! Dum 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 Dilby. <laughs> Don't you know I need help? Oh, I'm seriously unbalanced! Oh, these are my teenage years! <laughs> Beating the crap out of you is therapy for me! In fact, <laughs> this is the most fun a little Spider-Man can have without laughing! <laughs> You wall-crawling piece of refuse! 
You will burn in hell for deceiving me! Hey, I wasn't deceiving you. You really had me then. I honestly believed you were my best friend, Dr. Doom, and that the rest of the world hated me. Spider-Man. But when Flash Thompson, wearing my outfit, made that little speech about me being his big hero, well, it kind of short-circuited your brainwashing. Because I'm beginning to learn that in life, the people you think hate you often turn out to be the friends in disguise. And vice versa. You'll wish you had made friends with me, Spider-Man. For I am now setting this weapon to atomize you. I will be funny! The way I see it, Doctor Doom, every new experience teaches me something. Like the first time I ever swung into this building to try and join the Fantastic Four, I landed more or less exactly on the spot you're standing on now. And Reed Richards said to the torch, Johnny the Cage. And the torch pressed this button here, and I said... Cage, I don't see it. Just what I said. How about that? Oh, don't try firing your power finger in there. Whoops. The new model's totally armored. Betty, Liz, Flash, let's get you out of here and call a cop. Spider-Man! What about Prince Namor's invasion? What about the bombs? Bombs? And they're due to go off in three minutes! Oh, boy. Where is he? Namor, wait! Prince Namor? Where is Von Doom? I'll kill him with my bare hands. Oh, hold on a second here. Hey, Spider-Man! Hey, Dr. Doom, all parceled up for the NYPD. I'm after the defense. He betrayed me. Listen, folks. This building's wired to take out half of New York State. Dr. Doom's hidden some old nuclear bombs around here someplace. We got three minutes to find them and defuse them. I did that already. Here's the bombs. Wow, but, but what about Prince Namor's invasion? Aren't we at war with him? At war, the Atlanteans came to New York to settle a peace treaty to apply for membership of the United Nations. Dr. Doom promised he would travel ahead and bring word of our peaceful intentions, but he betrayed us. Thank God we were able to tap into the Pentagon's closed channels and get them to call off the U.S. forces. Don't be modest, Reed. Only you could have done it. Susan! I'm engaged to be Mrs. Reed Richards, Namor. The throne of Atlantis will wait for you. Hey, fish face. You heard the lady. Her loyalty does her credit. As does yours, ugly one. Farewell. Ugly one. <laughs> I love it. Zip it up, candle power. Spider-Man, you all right? Yeah, well, sensed around the edges like Flash here. How is he? Uh, just fine, Webhead. You're one cool food, man. Come on, Flash. Let's get you home. Uh, what about you, Betty? Can you make it back to the Daily Bugle offices okay? Are you kidding? I want to see the look on J. Jonah Jameson's face after he's seen all this. Seen all this? Dr. Doom had his TV cameras running through the whole thing. Now everybody see what a hero you are live on TV. Oh, wow! After the campaigns he's led to destroy my reputation. Oh, what a gift to see him right now. <laughs> Daily Bugle. No, I don't work here. Shush, he's coming. Good evening, Mr. Jameson. <laughs> Miss Brand. Uh, she's with uh, Spider-Man, JJ. Go! I need a drink. <laughs> My name is Peter Parker. Teenager, bookworm, friendly neighborhood superhero. And boy, am I glad life is back to abnormal. Hi, Liz. Hi, Katie. Hey, hi, Flash. Hey, stick it in your ear, Parker, you feeble spring bean. Ah, yes. It's good to be back among friends and enemies. See ya, folks. Uh -huh.